Hello, hello, and welcome to the first drop frames of 2024, and also our game of the year show for 2023. And also, did you guys know that this episode starts 10 years of drop frames? Really? Yeah, we what? start. We started on uh, the first episode of Drop Frames was recorded January seventh, twenty fifteen. So we have completed nine years. Thus, we are in our ten year celebration. Wow. I guess all year long we'll be celebrating <laughs> Drop Frames every episode. This is the, the, ten, to, the ten year anniversary year. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's that's also the marketing thing. Oh, the first time. I'm now taking mornings off in 10 years. It only so, took you 10 years. It only, it only took me 10 years. I'm proud of you. Yeah, so Now, hold on. You're taking mornings <laughs> off like Sunday morning. Morning? He's no off? longer sad. Oh, just like, Sunday he's morning. always Sunday happy. Mornings. Yes. yes. That's, yeah. yeah. So I, mm -hmm. I, in 10 years, I have worked to having one full day off per week. Sort of. I take s Saturday afternoons off and, and Sunday mornings now. He hasn't combined it into a full. It's is it a full day though, or is it just two half days? I mean, no, no. If you're, if you're on, if you're like, on Twitch, you it's it it's work. It's it counts. It's, as it's a little it's a little weird for me because like I I'm taking you know Saturday afternoon off and Sunday morning off, but I'm streaming the other half of each day, and I'm still doing the cozy stream on each day. So it's you know it's so is there taking a, a little more hour, time off? Yeah. Is there a twenty four hour period where you are not working? Well, I mean, we were we were talking about it before the show. Even even the moments, the day off. I don't know about you, Z, oh, yeah. but day off for me are just off stream work. Like yeah. I'm yeah. I'm actually I'm gonna double co up this year. I'm thinking of a second day off. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, so I can shit. actually have what? a real a real day off. You know, yeah. where you don't do yeah. anything well, work related. It, it like it feels it honestly it does feel like I have two days off because. Uh, I take Mondays off mm -hmm. uh, completely, but also like Sunday is I do stuff that I would do on my day off anyway. You know, I, I well, would, you only do I drop do, frames, right? And then that's I would do this show and yeah. I would I'd do RP. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. RP, yeah, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, that's stuff I would do on my free time anyway. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We're starting the year off strong. We got a game of the year show to do. Uh, these shows are always tight on time, so I don't want to delay too, too long. Um, but how was y'all's uh, holiday break? Everything go well? A good Christmas? Good New Year? Any any exciting stories or events we need to recollect here at the start of the show? I got COVID for Christmas. <laughs> it was great. COVID and, yep. uh, and food poisoning. That was a real wombo combo of... Uh, the festivities i guess at the same time yeah it was great i got covid and then i had some uh i had some in no not in and out five i had some five guys and then 24 hours no 48 hours into covid just awful food poisoning it was a really bad time i did not Do you know what gave it to you i think i think it was five guys yeah i think that's i think it was a bad burger Ooh. which is rare oh uh it's rare to get it a was bad too burger. rare it might have been too rare yeah yeah <laughs> It was a, Ouch. it was a, oh, it was man. a, it was a bad time, a uh, bad time for sure. But yeah, apart from oh, that, I bad, 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 bad times at JP High. So you don't know, holidays. like, I was going to ask you, like, cause I, we recently in, uh, we got COVID from TwitchCon yeah. somewhere, somehow. Um, and uh, as far as I know, like, uh, or as far as I've heard from other, other sources, other people who've had it, stuff like that, there's a, there's a good scale as far as like how severe it is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like. I felt like my COVID, the the one that I got was like, from stories I've heard, like a two or a three, maybe tops. Yeah. Uh, Katie was like at a four or five. Um, she got a little worse than I did, but like, how 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 bad would I, you say? It, it, it'd be hard to judge because you had food poisoning. I had food poisoning yeah, at the same time. Say. Yeah. Uh, I I would say like, honestly, the first and second day were like the worst. Cause that was like when I had the full flu symptoms mm. of chills and everything like that. Um, mm. and, and, uh, I think my fever spiked at like one Oh one, which is pretty awful. Oof. Um, yeah. but like after that, it was just a mild cold with a, a pretty strong cough. So I got kind of lucky in that regard. Um, but did yeah, you get the, it, it did you get the fatigue and the body ache. Yeah. The fatigue hit me. That was wild. 
That was really Isn't weird. It? Yeah. Yeah. Just walking yeah. around and like going up a flight of stairs and being like, holy shit, I need to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't, I don't, that was a lot. <laughs> Dude, I remember tweeting out like, did you know blinking takes effort? Yeah. I do now. <laughs> Yeah, I just <laughs> laid in bed all day. That's the only thing you could really do. Yeah, it was uh, it was a lot. But anyways, that's enough uh, enough of my sickness. How was how's how was y'all's Christmas? Co was everything good? Did you get the kids any big gifts? Yeah, uh, kids got all sorts of of fun random stuff. Okay, uh, a lot a lot of you know skins and stuff they like. Uh, Rowan Rowan got raft. Which he's been enjoying. Oh, uh, he's been he's been really digging raft, which has been cool. It's been fun seeing him kind of learn all that stuff. Nice. And uh, yeah, they got just, just all sorts of toys and candy. Those those kids have it really good. It was kind of fun for us. So I we I I got sick a little bit, not COVID or anything. Just had like a you know cold, a cold respiratory yep. thing. And uh, also our it the holidays are interesting for us because uh, we have a nanny and she's amazing. She helps a lot, but yeah. she always takes. It takes like weeks off around holidays sure so it's like you get in this nice big drive where it's like cool everything's good and then the holidays come along and it's just like oh yeah this is what it's like without a nanny <laughs> <laughs> for like weeks at a time yeah so yeah, that yeah. was uh that was you know that's 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 always an experience but it's a lot of fun yeah. and uh it's you know it was a really really good holiday yeah makes sense zeke how was yours good break yeah good break uh, i mean it was god damn dude it, it was it, it, your priorities shift. I, I, you want to say it's like, oh, I'm old and curmudgeon -y. Like, I don't want to go out and do stuff, you know, for like the holidays or, or New Year's and stuff. But I, I don't think it's that. I don't think, because I go out and do stuff that I want to do. It's mm -hmm. just your priorities change when you get older. Yeah. It's not that you don't, mm -hmm. don't go out and do stuff. It's just the stuff that excited you when you were younger doesn't excite you anymore. Like, we, Katie and I were, were planning on like, we're going to go downtown Denver. We're just going to see what New Year's is like downtown. And I was like, I woke up on New Year's Eve and I was like, sun's up, gung ho. As soon as the sun goes down and it started getting chilly and then eventually cold as shit, I was like, hey, babe, um, <laughs> do, you, do you have your heart set on going out? And she's yeah, like, that's... I do not. I was like, I do not either. So I love, I love how. Uh... Celebrating at home. <laughs> I love how when talking to Katie, Zeke becomes exactly one third Kermit. A little bit Kermity, yeah. Hey, uh, yeah. hey, hey, babe. Um, you think we could maybe uh go home? That's maybe too much. You said one it third. No, no. You got to dial hey, it back. Hey, hey, that's babe. two thirds. Hey. Yeah, that's a little better. <laughs> that's better. Dial, no, that's, that's, perfect. that's really there. good. That's a little bit better. Well, it's. I mean, when you're delivering bad news, that uh, I, I can't think of a more more soothing voice to use than Kermit. Kermit. Yeah, that's, that's. If I could uh... do Mr. Rogers, I would, but I don't think my my scratchy <laughs> voice can do it. Yeah, might not be able to. Kermit works though. Kermit plays. Kermit yeah. plays. Kermit uh, plays. He Kermit plays. plays. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Next time, try walking. He's a classic. Ooh, yeah. you could go for yeah. a Christopher. And then, if you really just want to spice it up, do a little Gilbert. You know, throw a little Godfrey in there. Gilbert. See how it goes. <laughs> just start getting, hey, baby! <laughs> yeah. Just, you know. It's cold as tits out here. Let's go home. <laughs> See what happens. See what happens. Hit him with a little Iago. That's how you do it. All right, let's do our game of the year show. Let me, uh, okay. Barry, uh, I'm going to give a shout out to Barry for doing all this stuff. He set uh, all this up. He went through, he gave us some stats or gave me some stats on the uh, the different community votes. Uh, he whittled it down. There was 20,000 unique game votes, uh, 261 games. There was 5,746 opinions slash write-ins uh, for that. Opinions. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And oh, uh, they all he whittled suck. it all JP, down. Before you go further, yeah. Can we. Oh, you need just, you need the just a scotch. Yeah, let me let me. Uh, there you go. A, Is that it? No. Right, there we go. Okay, there, there we go. go. Oh, that feels better. Feels, feels better. better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scoot, no, scoot scoot up the hovering was. was. I got you. Me. I got you. Yeah, I, he didn't give me a full number on terms of the most misspellings. But guys, spell check is free. It probably put a thing underneath the stuff you were typing. Use it. <laughs> what are you doing? If you're typing out a game title, though, like, that's a proper net. Like, it's, there's no, listen, yeah. Listen, I loved Barter's <laughs> Gay 3, okay? I love it. Ba Barter's Gay was just, 
is just so good. Yeah. Beginning to he end. said he said the biggest one or, or the one that he uh, talked about the most was uh, his favorite and apparently some of our favorite uh, or some of our community's favorite voice actress, Amelia Taylor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of lot of that. I like that. Of, That's good. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I, mean, I, I would love to see something like I would love to see the autocorrects. Like, <laughs> did you mean balding pate? Balding. No, pate. I did not mean balding pate. You know, I guess if people were using their phones, I could see that it probably autocorrected into a lot of like <laughs> Zeke, random stuff. What, what about Balfour's fate? Balfour's fate. No. Well, it wouldn't autocorrect in, a, in another nonsense word though. <laughs> Balter's taint. Would. <laughs> Does it? No. Walter's taint? So if you actually type Balder. Baltic taint. Baltic taint. There we go. <laughs> I just typed Balder <laughs> and it auto-corrected to Balfour. <laughs> what? What is, what is, what is Balfour? Balfour? Bal is that like an Irish island or something? I don't know. Balf B-A-L-F-O-R? Yeah. Must I, be like a city or, or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's, oh, it's be... a park in Denver, <laughs> apparently. Okay. Yeah. No, guys. As as much as I too wish it was a D's nuts joke, I don't think it's ball for D's nuts. But that <laughs> I like. It's good. I like your effort. That's yeah. That's what a lot of chats it's good auto try to uh, make it work. Auto advanced. Yeah. Yep. All right. Let, let's not delay anymore. Let's let's get the show on the road. I'm gonna hit advance, and uh, we're gonna come up to our first. Thing of the year. Barry, you broke it. I'm going to use the thing that you said would not break. And there it goes. It didn't break. Thank you. Uh, favorite new IP. So I don't know how he... he uh, these are a little bit different than I think some of our... Uh, the three of our list in terms of the ordering. So we'll just go with it. Um, how do we want to... Do we want to do community first? Do we want to do the three of ours first? What do we want to do? I like, I like community first and then we can just go yeah. down us. Okay. All yep. right, let's uh, let's hit toggle community, and then we're gonna hit show community and see what they chose. It is okay. Oh, Liza P. What a great selection, Liza P. Hell yeah. Her favorite new what, IP. What a great selection. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I judging by that response from the three of us, <laughs> I'm gonna toggle was, the community. I, I, and, I didn't want to uh, give it away, but I was like, that's a great choice. It might be. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Wow. People really wow. like the Liza P right there. Uh, just across the board. I, that was, yeah. Uh, yep. Yep. Yeah. I mean, See, we, there's a lot, I mean, of, uh, a lot of similar it, thinking going on here. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly, like a lot of the, a lot of the, a lot of really great games of the year are sequels, sequels totally. remakes, you know, all that. Not shit. Not only so, that. Yeah. Yeah. Liza P does a phenomenal job of not only being an excellent standalone product, but they immediately at the end start teasing like, yep. Hey, you like this? Guess what? And it's just like, Oh, like that's, that's it. There's nothing better than getting to the end of something and immediately being introduced to more that you can't yeah. immediately get. It's like yeah. the opposite of when you finish a show or a game that, you know, there isn't another one of. You know, it's it's the opposite of that feeling. So yeah, yeah. Liza P was was when I saw this category for me, there was like not not even another option. It it was one yeah. of those ones where I was like, what even was a new IP this year? Because Zeke was right. Well, it, I mean, so honestly, it was a real toss up between this and Starfield. You know, I mean, <laughs> for me, real, for me, it was it was this that. and Hi Fi Rush. Those were the two. Those yeah, were like the yeah. two IP uh, new IPs of the year. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I, I think like I think Dredge is definitely an honorable mention in there. Um, sure. Dave the Diver, I think, is an honorable Dave the Diver's mention. a good one. Yeah. Yep. Although that uh, studio's already moved on to something else. Yeah, yeah, they're probably doing <laughs> yeah. other stuff. Yeah. Um, Dead Space probably was... Wait. Uh, yeah, I think it's heard of... Yeah, that's, that that's, a, that's, you know, yeah. I'm glad I didn't put that. I'm glad I didn't yeah. put that. That, uh, uh, that would have been embarrassing. Yeah, that would have been a little embarrassing. I like <laughs> no, but uh, speaking, uh, just good. real quick, speaking to what you were talking about, Co. Like for those of uh, 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 for those of you who read the or are familiar with the Fables comic series that like a Wolf Among Us was made from and that kind of shit. Like playing Lies of P, like 
I personally, like in the very, very back of my mind, I was like, maybe more stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and yeah, and to, and to answer chat, I actually probably would have put Starfield here, but I felt that, you know, it already got its most innovative award. And it was I think so it innovative. It really was. It, it was. Really was. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll let it, we'll let them have that one. I, I do want to move on, but it has to be commented about chat. Baldur's Gate 3 was not the favorite new IP of the year. That was number two. That that was Hold that on, was eleven what? votes away from winning. It <laughs> literally has three in the title. <laughs> it literally is Baldur's Gate 3. Like That's how eleven votes that it would have won. <laughs> I feel I feel like Baldur's are... Gate 3 is the first time that we've seen actual politics in our game awards. And let me tell you why. Yeah. Because now when you go to vote, there's like a line or there's a box at the end. And the box is just Baldur's Gate 3 straight ticket. Sure. Like, yeah, I'm Baldur just straight oh, ticket. Yeah. I don't compete. Yeah. Best yeah. music, Baldur's Gate 3. Most innovative, Baldur's Gate 3. Best success, Baldur's Gate 3. Best indie. Best racing game, Baldur's Gate 3. I yeah, mean, it's, I mean it's, it's, you just, a lot of, they just vote straight ticket. That's a, it. AJ in my chat says, it's Baldur's Gate 1 for anyone under 25. It is. Yeah, that's fair. And now Fuck. I'm sad. Fuck, next category. Favorite multiplayer. Well, also, <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you go back and try to play the other Baldur's Gate, uh, you're going to be in for a different experience. Yeah, 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 for sure. For oh, sure. well, although experience. I will say you this. like reading. <laughs> kind of fun. The amount of people that I've seen get introduced to the previous Baldur's Gates from Baldur's Gate Three is heartwarming. Yeah. Well, uh, oh, the amount of the amount of people in the last couple months that have either reached out or just said in my chat, like, "Man, I had no idea. Like, I just finished Baldur's Gate Two. That's such a good game. You know, I'd never played it before. I played through three. It's like that is awesome. Yeah. There was uh, uh, it warms my heart. Fairly significant leak, I think, a couple days ago that Baldur's Gate One and Two are apparently coming to Game Pass. So. We'll see if nice. that happens over the next uh, couple of weeks, whenever that uh, potentially. Yeah, they're based on a system I, dude, known to insiders as AD and D. <laughs> I heard like a month ago they were they were flirting with a. There was a rumor I heard of that they were flirting with the idea of fully voice acting one and two, and I was like, Jesus, that would. Be... I was like, that would be amazing. Yeah, that, that would, would that would wild. actually introduce those games to like an entire new generation yeah that'd, that'd be, be really, really cool. wild that'd be really wild favorite multiplayer see it. let's see what the community voted it was <laughs> okay Baldur's Gate 3 speaking and thus begins the sweep <laughs> <laughs> speaking of Baldur's Gate 3 yeah that uh yeah that was uh 25 percent of the vote according to Barry uh, lethal company uh 21 percent of the vote uh lethal company mm. still early still early access even though the modding community is like making that game so incredible, <laughs> just the absurdity of it. But yep. yeah, it was uh, it was close. And then Street Fighter Six uh, with eight percent of the vote uh, behind that. Who wants to go? I think we're gonna have some varying opinions here. So let's uh, let's break it down. Cole, you you did the head nod. Go ahead, you first. Yeah, my mine is gonna be different because I was introduced to mine recently. Um, I there are a lot of good options for this because I actually. For the first time in a while, I played a lot of different multiplayer games this year from like World of Warcraft and Lethal Company, all that kind of thing. But for this category, I felt like I wanted my game selection to be something that's like multiplayer only, that is a a clear, like either up and coming or something I feel is going to be around for a while. And frankly, this game I played as kind of like a joke, as like I'll try it, and I ended up really, really digging it, and I have been and have been continuing to dig it, so... My favorite multiplayer game is the finals. Okay. Actually. Yeah. Uh, which was a little bit of a surprise you. to me too, but um, I'm liking it, man. I've been playing with Barry like every night for a week. Probably going to play it more tonight. It's a, it's a super easy game to drop in and out. It's, it's not doing anything that I would say is revolutionary, but it does everything it does. Well, the music's fun. I've never almost had any lag, never had to deal with hackers. Like it's, it's just a great example of, of a, a current day take on Free to play multiplayer shooters, and uh, yeah, I dig it, man. I think it's great. I think yeah. if you're looking for a fun game to play, it's free. Download it and give it a try. Yeah, 
I'm kind of sad that that we're talking about it now because we haven't had a show for a while. I, I want to hear more about this. Like it's a real, like you know, it's a regular drop frame show because yep, next week you know, we, he invited me. To yeah, play we can talk next week about it. I'll, I'll still probably be playing okay. it. I mean, between the tribes three stuff, which unfortunately is having queuing issues, and this, ah. I mean, it's you know, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I was gonna poke JP and see if he wanted to play tonight. <laughs> yeah, you should play Zeke. It's good. You should check. It's free. It's fun. It's the well, it's, it's, of three players. Yeah, it's a first person shooter. It like has competitive, right? It has it's melee. a first person shooter. There are melee weapons and stealth and like charging like a like a bull. There's like shields that you can help your team with. Okay. Um okay. you can play and not have any aiming. I'll be playing tonight around six thirty or seven. If you yeah, want right. to jump in, you're welcome to just yeah. have some fun. We're we're speaking Zeke's Spring language drinks. there. Yep. We're speaking you had language. my attention and now you have my interest. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh Zeke, what about your favorite multiplayer? Can we get that? I bucked the system. I oh. it's early access, but I don't care. Like I, I told Barry, like I'll <laughs> deal with it. Okay, I'll deal with it. It's not no early access are on my like top tens. I know where we're going. That's fair. I think. That's fair. But like multiplayer, pff, lethal company, lethal company. It's, uh, it's tough. To, I it's get tough it, to man. deny how much fucking fun that was. <sighs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I haven't had that much fun playing with other streamers in such a long time, dude. Yeah, that was so good. Like, and it was it 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 takes a it takes a special game. To be not playing it and still like even have a better time not playing, just fucking watching and spectating other people play. Like, god damn, it's something special. And it it's is. when I dropped when I first played this, I was like, this game is indie as fuck, and I don't understand. It took me a minute to to like to understand like why people would want to play this. Because I've seen games like this a lot, you know, sure. during indie days. And it's unpolished it's glitchy it's like you know people like enemies clip through fucking walls and doors and shit but that seems to just add to the fucking charm of the thing you know right yeah um but yeah leave the company and like just honorable mention because i put one on there is like just in case early access isn't cool and i just like fuck it but <laughs> the other honorable mention was king of the castle which was a really super fun game to play with chat where you know it's it's all of chat versus me I'm the king, they're the barons, and you know, it was it was super fun. Twitch integration was really cool, and that deserves deserves I'll, a little mint. Yep. I'll always remember your first jetpack trip. Dude, that, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many it's just a clip generator. It really yeah. is. It's such oh, yeah. a moment generator, a clip generator. It's Lethal Company's a hell of a thing. Yeah. It's uh, and the mods. I don't know if you guys have kept up with the mods. I get it. I okay, I'll, I'll wrap it up. Zeke, have you kept up with the mods in that? They have group k-pop dances now that have been modded in so if you're playing with like four people you can all hit the dance button and it just starts doing like some south korean k-pop group dance. oh yeah no i it's it's tough to avoid the clips on twitter <laughs> yeah it really is <laughs> of, it really of, is. of like they really they, i mean i saw a clip and it's like wow they smoothed out all of the lines and really smoothed out some of the curves if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> jesus jesus uh all right my favorite multiplayer i think this is the vanilla pick it's uh it's a game i intend on playing more of and it's definitely a game i'll be watching any streams of especially around summertime when evo hits it's of course street fighter 6 the doozy of a game if my uh <laughs> anger management was in better shape i'd be playing a lot of this or i would have been playing a lot of this around the uh, subathon but it turns out if you are on little amounts of sleep and you play a frustrating game, it doesn't really work out. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't go well when you try oh, yeah, to do fair. that. So, uh, yeah, yeah, <clears> that's, <throat> I, I will go back to it. Uh, and of course, Capcom's going to keep adding characters to it. So, uh, yeah, Street Fighter Six, my favorite multiplayer. Next category favorite writing i wonder what the community's gonna vote for actually i guess it could be between two things here it might not be baldur's gate they chose baldur's gate okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. Hey, yeah, yeah, it shouldn't be surprising there. should uh, yeah yeah it yeah, shouldn't be shouldn't be a surprise there um now yeah. i think the three of us <laughs> might have chosen the same thing here given how this year went Zeke shaking his head no, so he might be the outlier. Now I'm nervous. Yeah, I, no, I doubt that that my choice is is going to match either of yours. And if it is, like, I would I will be very surprised. Okay. Uh, for the community uh, stats, 
Baldur's Gate 3 had 53% of the vote, Alan Wake 2, 23%, and then Final Fantasy 16 with 4% of the vote. Um, Zeke, why don't you talk? If Zeke's going to be the outlier here. Well, hold on, say. hold on. Mm -hmm. how, uh, how about you go first, JP? Okay, I'll go first. For me, uh, it was a game that I actually, I it was not even, I had zero hype for this game. It was not on my radar. I had written it off uh, and like, Co kept talking about it. And I was like, ah, I don't, I'm not that excited for it. I don't think it's going to be like, I, I played the originals and like it wasn't. And then I decided just to like fucking suck it up and play it. And it was, it was great. I'll wake too, nice. uh, from start to finish. It scared the fucking shit out of me. I, I told chat oh, the yeah, other dude. day, the only way I got through this is playing the game at 10% volume. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then when there were long dialogue bits i'd turn it up a little bit and hear some of the voices oh we gotta play the game let's turn that down a little bit so we don't get jump scared too much um but yeah uh the writing through and through for me was just the the star um i i absolutely loved that aspect of it and it always kept me like wondering what was around the corner both literally and you know where they're gonna go with the story because it is such a wild uh, unique piece of, uh, I think, media, especially in this genre, where it's just, you never know what uh, old Sam Lake is going to do, I think, in that game. So that was my uh, my favorite writing of the year. Zeke, let's hear the outlier. I'm what so got, curious Zeke? now. Uh, just real quick, <clears throat> like, I'm I'm glad this show, like, doesn't, we, we don't say best, we say favorite. Yeah. Because I could, I could, if I broke it down <laughs> technically and like said, like Alan Wake probably has like arguably the best writing, like technically in you know, Baldur's Gate, maybe uh, best writing. My favorite writing though, the writing that stood out to me, made me think and made me just sit back and just like ponder shit for a while. Like put, like put my mouse down and like ponder shit. My favorite writing, the Talos Principle too. Oh, oh. okay. Okay. See, yeah. It's, it. I remember you it, actually it's, mentioned it has that like, when you were talking about it. Yep. Yeah. It has like a nice range of like super heady, like intellectual stuff, like stuff that I mean, it went over my head. I read it, but it went over my head. But it also has like you know a nice middle ground and you know some a little tiny bit of lowbrow stuff. But like some of the shit, like they brought, they bring up between like what makes us human yeah. and like those those deep philosophical questions it was dude that i just loved like sitting there and going like you know that's a good point like what if 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 you if if you call yourself human does that make you human like what is a and like that kind of shit and I'd just sit there for like minutes and just be like and i loved it i loved the 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 provocation of thought that this game brought to me for me i was just like i, I took uh philosophy 101 in college and i hated it and so the second that I got into this, I was like, oh God, it's all coming back to me. All this nonsense. It's like, what is he doing? Uh, but yeah, I, I totally get what you're saying. Cause it, it is very thought uh, provoking, but like yeah. sometimes, you know, I don't want those thoughts. I just want to play, and this is, <laughs> this want is to play one of those, a damn game. Yeah. I this play not to rare, think JP. That's exactly right. <laughs> it was one of those rare games that, that I would say, like, there wasn't a moment where I was like, that was cheesy, or that was unnecessary, or there was, it didn't seem like there was any superfluous lines or dialogue or writing in it to yeah. me. It was great. Yeah. I yeah. loved it. I get it. I get it. Co, favorite writing, 2023. So, <clears throat> Baldur's Gate 3 obviously had incredible narrative and, and incredible characters. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's, that's, you know, a big part in due to the, the phenomenal writers that, that Larian has. Um, Alan Wake 2 had a very well-defined narrative that I also feel was, was not only supplemented by its excellent characters, but also the world itself and the way that they did the directing added the storytelling so much that it became something completely unique. But neither of those games in my opinion, actually hold a candle to that one. In the aspect of writing? In aspects of writing, the writing in Rogue Trader 
supersedes both of them in my opinion wow just raw writing talent there are so many times that i would complete an area or a scene in rogue trader and just go damn that was awesome like be it the incredibly verbose vocabulary the descriptors that they use the the way that they utilize the environment to tell stories but then also like dive in with dialogue the the voice acting when it's there is phenomenal the characters are rich and deep um it, it it's the other games i feel kind of have to shoehorn their writing into compartments like in Baldur's Gate 3, when you're talking to an NPC, you only get, you know, a couple lines and then a rebuttal and a couple lines, maybe a couple more lines. Alan Wake 2, again, such a structured delivery of the story and, and exactly how the player's going to feel and, and to play with their emotions. Rogue Trader just has fun with writing. Rogue Trader is giant paragraphs of just like really thought out, deep, like it, it goes into politics, it goes into uh, uh, like sense of self it goes into you know wh what home actually means to people like all of these different themes it explores all the time just carelessly as you go through the game and uh, it is by far in my opinion the most verbose like well-written writing experience uh this year awesome yeah. yeah quick question is it voice acted the voice acting of rogue trader is skeletal <laughs> and only down the main backbone and the part that's the most frustrating is the companions, all the major companions are voice acted by really, really good voice actors. Harshly. Okay. So like you'll be on the deck of your ship and you'll be talking to one of your companions and they're and they're telling you this big story and it's voice acted and they're showing emotion, all this stuff. And then they're like, yeah, but there's this one big thing I have to talk to you about. Can I talk to you in private in your quarters? And the second <laughs> I hear that, I go, no, you will talk to me right here because I know that if we leave this bridge, that everything you have to say won't be voice acted. So no, you <laughs> plant your ass right here and you finish your goddamn thought. <laughs> but no, it, and it's it's the worst because a lot of times that private thing they want to talk to you about, maybe the like the the secret or the emotional thing in their life that they need to pour out, and it's like you miss all of the voice acting of this stuff, and it's it's really unfortunate. So my prayer, my hope, is that it has been hinted that if rogue trader does enough they may do an addition down the road that has full voice acting so i'm just sitting here being like please go buy rogue trader just please because yeah. this game's incredible and if it had full voice acting i mean it would be great i do want to point out that i'm completely gushing about this game uh we'll talk about this later but i'm i am doing that in the context of the writing this game unfortunately has some major issues that we'll talk about at a later time so don't think sure. that i'm like you know yeah so yeah, yeah. I'm, I wait wait to hear the full picture before rushing down and buying it i know you're still streaming this how many hours do you have i'm i'm like personally oh god curious what what your um, average is at if someone can help me out uh the best the way to boss. know I've, I've played a bunch of the pre versions, so i can't look at my steam my 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 youtube playlist is the best way to know exactly how long it is but i i think okay. i'm close to 100 hours so far are you close to finishing and i've got at least an act and a half left Jeez, so, so it's longer than than it's, bg3 it's a big game <laughs> yeah it's a big game yeah i knew it was long i know it was long also it has like it has replayability as well pretty significantly you can choose to be either like dogmatic to the faith like classic 40k like for the emperor everything for the emperor you can be like that or you can be what i'm being which is iconoclast which is like you're a good guy you're you're fighting for the people like you don't care about the emperor so much as you do doing by the right. And then you can just be a straight up heretic. You can be <laughs> heresy. And throughout the story, you get major, major decisions. Like the fate of planets based on like which one you go on. Like if the planet will be there in the future. If you if it will be a colony you can use, you know, things like that. And uh, those are tied to the different, uh, I guess you call them like schools of thought. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's, it's very interesting. Nice. And once again, since we haven't had a show in a while, uh, I'm looking at the tags. It says tactical RPG. Does that mean turn-based? Yes. Yes. It is a okay. it is a turn-based CRPG. Yeah. Okay. Add it to the list. We'll talk about it next week on a oh. uh, normal show. Uh, favorite art style. Communities vote. Alan Wake 2. Nice. Not not surprising. Great. Yeah. Uh, a, yeah. What? what a, let me see what the... That was 12% of the vote. Uh... <laughs> Hi-Fi Rush at 11% of the vote. Baldur's Gate at 10% of the vote. So there's yeah. BG3. Why you know, not? Sure. There, I think I think, uh, I think there was actually the, the political list of just BG3 for everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What were you going to say, to be fair, what? 
I was just going to say, to be fair, I'm sure a lot of those people are like, yep, Shadow Hearts boobs. Check. Sure. Dude. Oh, my. Do I want? I, I browse yes. IGN's video list a lot. They have straight up mm. just put the entire sex scenes of everyone on their YouTube channel for PG3. And it's just like. It's fucking disgusting. <laughs> what is the link? It's just IGN's YouTube. It's just like full romance scenes for Asterion. Outreach. Full romance scenes for Carlac. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> like, I mean, that's the meta, right? Like, that's it. It's, they're not the first it's a to do for that. Any of those games that are like yeah. that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they have I it for am Cyberpunk. So, as well. I'm so disappointed. In they have like they have, they have full Judy walkthrough of romance, and it's an hour and I twenty minutes long. How do I know that? I didn't watch an hour and this. twenty minutes. Chat. All right. This is terrible. Well, I mean, what what's their YouTube? Just slash IGN. YouTube.com slash IGN. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's it's terrible. Wild. No, he only watched he only watched forty minutes of it because he watched the whole thing at two times speed. That's correct. <laughs> That's correct. Uh, favorite art style. Co, you go first. I went. I went first last time. We'll just do this thing. Um, I, I'm. Act, I, kind I, of I like, don't know what y'all's two favorite art style is. Let's see. Well, I mean, I picked the clear winner. So I mean, you know, you're either right or wrong in this. Okay. Case. All right. Mm -hmm. Alan Wake two yeah. for Co. No, seriously. Uh, Alan Wake two is it, it's phenomenal, and I think it it's one of those it's one of those games that really. Uh, exemplifies when a when a game dev has a vision and they're like we're going to work to make it so you see what we see and they do that so well throughout this game um be it with you know the way that they the way that they use reoccurring imagery be it the way that they handcraft all of their environments um the the graphics are just phenomenal anyway like it's it's one of those games that artistically and visually it is exceptionally well presented and in my opinion they put the work in to earn the award. Yeah, for this one, I yep. yeah I can't fault you for anything you're saying, Zeke. Where do you go with this? Um, the wild it, card. All all valid choices. <laughs> art is art is like art and like it's, it's very subjective. So like yes. I just I try to think back of all the games I played. Like what art from the game like really stood out and made me like you know it's kind of like the music of the game like. It's it's doesn't happen often, but you you sit back and you go, wow, that's a tune, or wow, that's a beautiful. My choice, the standout art style for me was Bramble the Mountain King. Oh, okay, sure. That blew me away. Like it was creepy. It set a mood. It set a scene. It was so like so integral to the telling or to the to the immersion of what of the story that was being told. And it was also, I mean, not only that, not only was it beautiful, but it was also brutal. Like they were not scared to kick, to kill the main character who was a child, like by biting parts of him off and stuff like that. It's, I mean, I said it throughout the game, like Norse people telling these kids stories. I, I see why, like there's so low crime in these countries because this is what they tell their kids and they are frightened to shit. <laughs> Yeah, Valid. you're not okay. wrong. You're not wrong. But yeah, not if you wrong. get a chance, if you get a chance, just check out check out a trailer for it. You'll see what I mean. It's it's it's, it's a wild obvious. game. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's and, and the scale of it too. It goes from big to small and stuff like that. They make some some really cool choices um, to enhance the you know the enjoyment of the game. And I just once I was once I I, I was like okay this one this one this one, and then I went oh shit it's that one absolutely no no question yeah yeah makes sense. Uh, my game is uh, for favorite art style was a game that uh, kind of it came out of nowhere quite literally, uh, and that will pretty much give it away. So I'll just go ahead and show it. Uh, when Hi-Fi Rush is the type of game where I felt like the entirety of its art existed in like a symbiotic nature with the rest of the game when it came to the audio, and like the art and the audio team were. <laughs> the same entity working together to just create that. Uh, it felt like I was watching a, a Pixar film. Uh, that level of animation was just insane. And there were so many times where I would just stop playing, watch what was happening in front of me and everything in the entire level was to the beat. Even shit that you would just never even like notice, like a random flap 
on a on a uh i don't some some random thing just a flap that's in the beat and it just they just did that because why not uh and i think that that really just solidified uh and it stuck with me all year like i i constantly constantly thought about that game and and how they uh how they they made it look and how they they made it uh made everything work so for me that was the, the very quick decision alan wake 2 was right there behind it though uh, I, I think that would have been the, the safe pick as well. Uh, cause like, I'm, I'm really glad that hi-fi rush got on there. I mean, because it was definitely, it was, it was a bit back, but it was definitely my number, my second choice for sure. Yeah. It was, it's just, it's beautiful, gorgeous. It stands out. It's yeah. Really, really good. Good choice. Yeah. I, I think with Alan Wake, like there's no other game that looks like that. <laughs> and it's, it was, it was actually a hard, harder decision to be like, eh, but for me, High Fight Rush edged it out. But I don't like to is is awesome. Uh, so I don't I don't want to not uh, give that its due as well. <clears throat> Next category, where are we going? Favorite music. Zeke, start us off. All oh, right. Actually, hold on. With the community, we got to do the community. I forgot about the community. Okay, community. Community was no. okay. Baldur's Gate three. Wow, who big shot with her? <laughs> wow. <laughs> What? <laughs> Here comes down by the river, just slowly uh, getting into the broadcast, and it's stuck yep. in your head all day yeah. long. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna see like, like YouTube or TikToks of people like sitting in like padded rooms down, down, <laughs> down by the river. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, Zeke, what was your favorite music of the year? Uh, once again, I was like, okay. What stood out to me, and I was like, okay, Hi-Fi Rush, there's a few of the, Baldur's Gate had great music, and then I was like, what did I rock? What did I rock hardest with? Alan Wake 2. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Makes yep. a lot of sense. Makes it's, and, sense. and the clincher, the, the, the scene by the lake. I'm not going to say any more than that. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That, you're that talking, just you're like, about towards the end. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that, that scene, uh. I I wish there was some thing that was like telling the player to look up in the sky during that like heavy action sequence cuz that might be the best part of that whole sequence Zeke when you look up into the sky and like see the projector <laughs> basically <laughs> as it's all happening and you're just like holy shit yeah. yeah yeah it's good it's good it's good stuff uh mine yeah, it won't come as a surprise to people, I don't think. I think this one fits me uh, the entire time I'm talking about uh, anything game music related. It's got to be it's got to be Soken, who I think is uh, it was the best part of Final Fantasy 16 for me. Like the music was phenomenal in that game and it carried so many of the fights uh, and, and made just made the game. Like he he absolutely fucking goes off. <laughs> they gave him all the orchestra, and he utilized it uh, throughout that entire game. So it it was uh, it was my favorite music of the year. Uh, Co, where do you go with it? Uh, for me, it was a game that that not only had good music in it, but the thing that really kicked it over for me is at the end of every chapter how there was a custom song yeah, shit. Yeah. that was not only for the game, but was just an, um, I, I kept waiting. I listened to every single one of them, every second of each one. And I kept waiting to hear a bad one and it never came. And I was just like every, I was like, every one of them is just like, this, this is awesome. Some of them were just great. <laughs> so, yeah. and then on top of the fact that the game already had a great score, like it was, and then the, and then factor in the musicals, and, and how they implemented that into the gameplay. Nah, man, for me, it, this is one of those ones that was a, there was a clear winner in my book. Yeah. yeah. They, I'll, they, I'll tell they, you they like- put so much work into that. Uh, the, the angsty teen, like contrarian, I was like, you're gonna pick Alan Wake? That's what everybody does <laughs> pick. And I was like, shut up, voice. It was my favorite this year. There you go. All right, you, I'm gonna go. Him. I'm gonna go smoke clove cigarettes in my room. Yeah, there you go. Hold yourself. Yeah, those those chapter end songs were were fantastic. They were really good. 
isn't every song custom to a game? Well, not, I mean, in, in many sometimes cases. Sometimes they use licensed yes, music. Sometimes they use licensed music. And more importantly, what I mean by custom is that they took like real artists and then they told them, we want you to make a song all, and lyrics included, we want that to represent our game or a theme in our game. Yeah. And I feel like that's, that's a little different than saying make music for our game. When, when they're saying, you make your vision inspired by what we're doing. And then we're going to implement that in our, in our artwork. Yeah. I, I feel like there's a they were, they were difference there. The lyrics were additive to the game. Like, you want to turn on subtitles. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Chad is going, what do you mean by real artist? What I mean. <laughs> What, what I, we what mean I meant is, is no artists, AI artists art. That, no, 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 just get out of the season. We don't like AI art, right, Chet? Are you I with should, me? I should have said artists that may not normally do game scores. They are, yeah. they are, they are, they are defined artists doing their own music thing that were then invited to make music based on the themes and work of Alan Wake Two. That's what I meant by that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, I, I should have just said real artists. Real American artist is what Room, you should have yeah, bo uh, Bonus yeah, points for free. I got to change. I just, I got to change. Yeah, your mind. artist ain't no American I ever heard of, JP. Yeah, what am I doing? I messed up. I just listen to your music and all I hear is oppression and bad <laughs> uh, Favorite Get, sound. Someone give me a banjo. <laughs> favorite sound design. The community chose Alan Wake 2. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, I'll go ahead and just uh, say, yeah, the community's right. Alan Wake 2 is mine. Uh, and, uh, pop and, it up. And for Co, Alan Wake 2 is his. Zeke, I'm not going to show yours because it seems like yours is not that. Unless no, it it's not. It's not that. No, no. Uh, not, okay. And your valid choices. Totally valid choices. Uh, like, I, I agree. Uh, Alan Wake was definitely very well done. But there's one that just barely edged out, and it's it's kind of unfair because it's a remake but like dead space sure hmm. yeah dead fantastic space, sound dude. of dead space absolutely that, you're not wrong still absolutely. going back to it after playing it for whatever however many years ago and then coming back and then remembering like how well done the fucking dread they create with the sounds of the ship that you're on the 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 um Ishimura. oh god now i forgot the name of the ship the Ishimura. The, Ishimura. Nishimura, there you go. I was gonna say the Nostromo. No, that's another. That's a completely <laughs> other ship. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just so good. And also, shout out to uh, shout out to the fucking baby doll I found. I had no idea that was in the game. Jesus. The baby doll. You can stomp it, and it cries. It scream cries when you stomp it. Oh. It's like, Aah! like it's in pain. You're just like Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> it's the most terrible thing. But also like. All the sound effects, not just the eeriness of it, but like, you know, him walking around the clank, 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 the stomp of the feet, you Iconic. know, the, the blast yeah. of the, yeah, so it's so good. And it's, it's, it seems unfair, but I had to, I mean, if it's, no. if it's counts, I, I don't think it's unfair. Yeah. 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 I, I think that's great. I, I think, uh, spooky games definitely, uh, can do a lot with the sound design in it and a lot of ways that can make or break. Uh, in my limited experience of playing spooky games, uh, <laughs> Alan Wake 2 is the one that I played. Didn't play Dead Space because uh, two spooks uh, for me. No. Um, but yeah, uh, all uh, solid. No, Alan Wake would have been would have been my third. Uh, Hi-Fi Rush would have been number two. Yeah, that was also close for me because it yeah. Yeah. it worked hand in hand with the like I said with the uh, the graphics for that. So next category. We're getting close to, uh, I think, our, our top threes and top tens. Uh, favorite character. I'm kind of curious how uh, the community went with this. Because it was write-in. It wasn't select. So let's see. Okay. They went with Carlac. Uh, or Carlac. Uh, Interesting. 19% of the vote. Um, Asterian was 15%. And Shadowheart okay. was uh, 11% of the vote for that nice. um nice. yeah and you know i gotta say they're not wrong that's who i chose <laughs> <laughs> i don't think they're wrong either jp i think they were absolutely 100 correct. <laughs> i mean hey, look you got <laughs> you got you got a wife and you get, and that's just how it goes you know that's just how it goes <laughs> oh man okay well yeah 
Um, uh, I did not. I did not pick that person. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, I didn't see that but, coming. I honestly didn't. <laughs> funny enough. Funny enough. Mine's a little off the beaten path. Okay. Go ahead and hit it. I think it was the entire party. Sure. Okay. I mean, that's valid, I guess. Because I, I tried to think of just like one. But at the same time, I felt like it, it kind of came as a package in a lot of ways. So it's it's a little bit of a cop out. But at the same bit. time, I was I was thinking like I didn't know what if you guys would pick a certain one. Yeah. Or if this was like a game, like favorite cast kind of thing. But funny enough, um, I, I if I had to pick like a single one of them, I probably would say Asterian just okay. because of of how much I enjoyed his character. If you like made me pick one of them, but I will say that one of the things that I liked so much about the characters is how they interacted with each other. Mm. And I think that that played a big part of it. I think that there was a, a whole lot of fantastic, like organicness in the whole group that really made the whole, the whole experience feel a lot more real than you get out of a lot of these games, uh, especially in the first two acts. Act three, unfortunately, it kind of tapers off a little bit. <laughs> but in the first two acts, like you can't do something in the game without going back to your camp and having like, an orchestra of people giving their opinions and feedback. And especially if something happens between two of the characters, you know, like, Hey, I can't believe that happened to that guy. Da, 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 da. And, and, and that whole thing was just phenomenal. So yeah. And to, if, if I had to pick a favorite character, it'd probably be a Styrian, um, just cause Neil Newbaum absolutely killed it. Um, but the entire cast was fantastic. Yeah. For me, I, I thought about just what <laughs> one of the things that really upset me a lot about Baldur's Gate three was the ending of Carlock and what can happen. And I thought about how pissed off that made me and then why I was upset. And it was because I enjoyed that character <laughs> so yeah. much. I wanted better, right? So that was, for me, it's like, oh yeah, it's Carlock. Right, just, just right out yeah. of the game. Uh, yeah, no me, spoilers, like, no spoilers. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna say for the record. For the record, a lot of the stuff JP had encountered actually has been changed and updated and. Yeah, I've heard there's, there's some changes there, yeah, yeah. Yep. For me, uh, it's anybody who who knows uh, my lady. Like, I mean, she's like a, a, a tall, antsy, like let's fucking go, like loud, awesome. Yeah, that's it. It was a no brainer for me. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Wow, I'm surprised that uh, that both the community and me and Zeke uh, went. I I figured it was going to be mostly Baldur's Gate three though, uh, but I didn't think it was going to be Carlock uh, for for three out of the four. Uh, next category, favorite performance. This one might also be heavily Baldur's Gate 3 <laughs> watch inspired. It, I was going to say, watch it, watch it be Carlac again. For, uh, community. for community, they chose Amelia Taylor. <laughs> Given the uh, the mass amounts of uh, misspellings, you guys, you guys know Amalia Tyler. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, she won with twenty eight percent of the community. Wait, you know Colleen Taylor. Yeah, uh, and you know Colleen Freyer. She's not wrong. The community's not yeah. wrong. Amelia Taylor. Not wrong. Wow. I'm not wrong. Not wrong, Jamie. Oh, I, I did. Okay. Across the board. Wow. No, I didn't no, know that. I accidentally hit Carlock. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, that game could not exist without her. It would not be anywhere near as good. There it is. Uh, if yep. she was not the narrator uh, in that game. And man, she, there's so much dialogue. So much fucking dialogue. She, not only opinion, that. Not only that. There is so much dialogue. And not a single word of it is bad. Yeah. Like the like all of it is good. It's yeah. amazing. Like it's amazing. And it's also consistent. Yeah. And like totally, it's like it's just freaking masterclass. In, I agree. In she crushed the competition with authority. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Oh yeah, just amazing. It's just absolutely. Amazing. We don't even need to say anything else. Uh, four for four. Her Go play Baldur's Gate three. Yeah, Amelia yep. Tyler. Uh, just a, a absolute rock. Is that our first four for four? I think that is, well, is it? No, oh, Liza P. Liza P. Liza P. Liza P. Liza P. Liza P. For, uh, yeah, best new our second, our second, our second, our second four, four of four. I guess yeah. we. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Favorite moment. 
man, what do you write a small book, JP? <laughs> <laughs> what? JP's like, so you know when you're playing video games, that time comes along and it's like. It's <laughs> I guess I was really exact, so there was no, uh, you know. No, it's it's funny because what I what I sent to Barry was a was pretty long, oh. and it's just five characters. Yeah, I don't so know what's going on. With I'm this guessing one. you just put it into like a random. And you I'm might. wondering if Co and I have the same one. I'm very curious. Uh, this I one, doubt it. This one I, I think it. stood out. Uh, let's yeah. see what the community voted for. Okay. There it goes unfolding. Okay. The Held of Darkness sequence. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. cool. Makes that's, a lot of sense. I, I like the little animated uh, little video, Barry. That's very, very cute. That was uh, yeah, that good. 18% of the vote uh, for the community. Nice. Um, nice. <laughs> the second one just says Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> and the third one, the third one. I love it. No, 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 no. The third one was why I was laughing because that one just says, Bear sex. <laughs> a lot. That, so Baldur's Gate three <laughs> technically won second and third. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's why that was I so long imagine. because the community was right. That's why that held. I I like. Uh, I can just imagine going back to the person rocking on their bed, singing "Down by the River." <laughs> it's like, what? What was your favorite moment? It was Baldur's Gate three. <laughs> yeah, but. But what was your favorite? All of the moments. Shut up. It is the entire thing. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah says the guy who picked the entire party. It's true. Hey. hey. <laughs> they were all good. Everyone Shut gets up. one. Look, you did, you did Lethal Company. He did. Uh, you yeah, know, you the, broke he, our. We have like three rules and you did, broke them. He did the BG3 party. I've got. Oh, my God. I've got something I probably broke. I don't. I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't know what um, else I chose. Uh, who wants to go next? Zeke. Zeke. I wanna, go I wanna, next. I'll go next. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't sure. Like, I didn't want to bug JP because I know like he gets mad at me when he when I make him repeat things. Like, what was the thing? The thing? Is it? I wanted to ask if it was like a moment in, in a game or in gaming as a, a thing. So I just was like, man, fuck it. I'll just do in a game. So okay. my favorite moment. Uh, the end of. Uh, like a dragon, Gaiden, the man who erased his name. The final scene with Kiryu. Okay. That by far stood out as just like, oh god. Like the game was good. It was a great, you know, it's a it's, it's a Gotaku. God, I always fuck that up. RGG. It's an RGG game. So it's good. Gotoku. I thought you said Kotaku. Gotoku. I, I say I know I say good that's why I say Gotaku because I fucking you? Kotaku, fucking Ga idiot. But it's Gotoku. Right. You? Anyways, Gotoku. that scene Gotoku. did not expect to have that much like ha like just yeah. punch me with emotions. It was really, really good. And I was a fucking mess. Okay. All right. Yeah, you guys have, uh, that's not the first time that scene has uh, been brought up. You guys both brought it up this year in terms of just the scene. I guess Ko also went with the same scene. Yeah. yeah. Must be impactful. We, Might have so, to watch some it. Of us, some of us have been waiting years, years yeah. for, for that moment. And oh. it was, uh, it was, a, it was a, a, a scene that literally takes hundreds of, hundreds of hours of gameplay to get to and adequately understand between all the different games and like oh. having having all of the context and being with Kiryu for as long as you have and 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 knowing what he's gone through is you couldn't make a movie that has an effect like with what this has in terms of like the depth the visceral emotion that came in that scene um it is one of my favorite moments in gaming damn like okay. period um it was Evocative. yeah it was it was incredible it was absolutely incredible yeah, yeah. maybe one day i'll get to it. i don't i keep looking at that fucking <clears throat> series i've started so no many spoilers times. oh we're we're yeah, yeah we're, we're done there's no you, more you, there's yeah. no spoilers that's it yeah. that's yeah. it yeah. that's all you get now go play zero yeah Young, that's young, the young, fucking young, issue. Three, that's four, the issue. Five, Play all six, eight, like a dragon. Like, yeah. It's like okay. uh, it's, it's like the Final Fantasy 14 thing. It's like now go it is. play. It pretty much is. Yeah. 300 hours of a game, and uh, maybe you'll get to experience it. So 
I get, but I get it, it. But just like 14, <sighs> totally worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Totally worth it. Yep. Yakuza franchise has some of the highest <laughs> highs and lowest lows. I think it is. Oh, wait. Are you saying about 14? Or He's Yakuza? saying about yeah, 14. 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, obviously, I'm not saying about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. By the way, I, I just uh, brought up Twitter. Uh, shout out to Runaway Robot, who says, I'm so so happy my work with IGN made it on Drop Frames. Co and Zeke, you want the links for the two hours of BG3 Love and I got on YouTube? <laughs> there you go. You filthy pervert. My email is zeke3tv at gmail.com. I want to have a, I want to have it out with you. There you go. He you wants to have something with him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite got work. feature. Now this one is a new category for us this year, I do believe. Uh, and it stumped me a little. This, this one it I, took me a while. I treated this one the same way as the game streamed. And I hope that's okay. I would say that I did like as the favorite well. Favorite feature. Okay. Did we choose yeah. the same thing? Let's see what the community voted for. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what course. specifically of about course. Baldur's Gate? <laughs> KP, the whole goddamn thing is the feature. Did you not play the game? <laughs> favorite feature movie, right? That's what this was. Favorite feature game. It's the feature. Oh, man. Uh, oh wait, it says, it. it says, uh, Barry told me to read the description. There was a great many options here from the community from co-op to accuracy of D and D rules to Twitch integration. Okay. Okay. Sure. And none of them won. It's just all BG3. Yeah. It's the best. Yeah. Uh, these, uh, that was, what was second and third, 15% of the vote was BG3. Uh, second was accessibility in games, 11%. Uh, and, uh, third with 6% of the vote was building in Zelda. Sure. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, now I'm JP, curious. I'm, if... I'm super interested in yours. I'm... Oh, go ahead, Zeke. Zeke, yeah, you go. I'll, I'll, I'll go first because okay. mine's a weird one. Um, my, uh, my choice for favorite feature is, uh, from a game that I didn't play very long. It was only like, I only played it like an hour and 20 minutes, but man, like I would love to see more of this. Uh, it was from the dot which you've never heard of, I'm sure. Um, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a weird little indie game huh. uh, that you, <laughs> you don't play it off, like you open the game and it starts, like you start it through the Steam launcher and then, wait, oh, come here. Oh, he misspelled. Okay, I was wondering why people were saying that. There's just a misspelling of game um you may anyways you, um, may. you open the game in steam Barry. there it's fucking <laughs> underlined in red fucking he just it tells spell checkers are free sorry zeke i <laughs> somebody gonna get stabbed <laughs> uh no, no you open the game in steam and then you basically dive into what like the the file the game files you've downloaded and you just like explore the files on your whatever drive you keep your steam games on you can just shut Steam off. The rest of the game is in those files. And you just search through like your own, like the game files and you go from folder to folder. It's like, a, it, you know, you hunt for like what's next and, and stuff like that. They take you on like a little meta journey outside of like Steam. Yeah, that's and fun, dude. I want, I love that shit. I absolutely love that shit. Other games have like, have touched on that, but this one was like there. That was, that was, that was the game is, and it's, it's not like, uber like uh, polished or or super well done but it gave me the the like if you ever played the beginner's guide it gave me that kind of like dive into a developer's head vibe and it was really really cool and it and it wasn't super long like i said it was only like an hour and a half or something yeah. but man it really stuck with me because it felt like i was on a uh a uh, it felt like uh, those those uh, subversive games, like Frog Fractions or whatever, where you like, oh, yeah, where you do like a uh, uh, you it's like they present you a game and then they're like, that's not the real game though. Love that shit. I love that shit. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Uh, for me, this one was took a little bit for me to think about. Great job on the fix, Barry. Yeah, thank you, Barry, for spelling game correctly uh, the second time. Yeah, next time let's let's try to do it the first time. But Unbelievable. Good good reaction. Good okay. good good reaction. Yeah. Uh, Thankfully we don't pay him. You don't pay him, do you? I don't nah, pay him. You nah, pay? Him. Okay. Nah, not at all. No. Nah. Um, 
Yeah, this one, uh, it, it took a little bit. Favorite feature uh, was was one, uh, like I said, new category. And I this was one of the last ones that I filled in. Uh, however, I thought about it a good amount. And I thought about like the different things that different games did. I thought about what games excelled at the best. And for me, this might be my, uh, since you guys all got one, this might be mine because it is an early access title. But the VoIP and Lethal Company absolutely makes that game. And it's the simplest thing, but when you walk inside and it starts doing the echo, it completely makes all those clips. When you walk outside and it doesn't have the echo, it completely makes all those clips. It's like, it's the best thing. The Wait. best thing. So the, the feature you voted for, like out of everything, was VOIP? Yeah, and the way that the game handled it. Because it, it goes it goes the distance with VoIP. It doesn't just include, like, VoIP in it. It's It does okay. things to it that make it, arguably for me, the best I've ever seen in an in-game experience. Uh, you, uh, like, just, I, just to, like, solidify your point or, you know, uh, boost it, it, you ever heard someone over the walkie-talkie, you ever heard someone drown? Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> Yeah. It's the, really good. Like the drowning, I'm, going, I'm in the water. I'm the muffled, <laughs> yeah. The face hugger. Really the it, there's so many different just small things. The cutting off immediately when you die. Like all that shit, I think, is such a benefit to the game and what makes that game. If it didn't have that, game wouldn't be anywhere near as fun. And if you use Discord, yeah. the game okay. wouldn't be anywhere near as fun. Like, it's one of the few games where you actually want to use the in-game VoIP, and it makes the game. Uh, and you tell people to log off Discord. And I think that's very, very rare. Uh, and the fact that they nailed it, I, I would say, like, AAA devs, look at how this shit is handled, because a lot of times you guys can't even get that shit right. So, yeah, that, that's why, uh, for okay. me, it was, uh, it was VoIP and Lethal Company. Definitely not the same it's, thing, it's judging by your reaction. Still like, right? Yeah, it's still like, one dev, no. as far as I know. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, I actually went a completely different direction with it. Um, I completely agree with you. I think I think that the, but, I, really? I think the I think the, yeah, the voice is phenomenal. It it actually makes the game in a lot of it ways. Got me. I think the best. I think the best part about Holy it shit, is the fact. Me. I think the best part about it is the fact that they not only take the the ambient VOIP, but then they with just like you were saying with the um like the whole role play with the the way that they do like the 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 teleport screaming yeah. the walkie talkies like all of that the fact that the monsters react to it like it they take normal VOIP and they just layer it and layer it and layer it with fun things in the game um like what is it uh, one of my favorite clips is like this guy playing with his girlfriend and his girlfriend i think is either next to him or in another room close by and all of it you just hear her start screaming and the boyfriend is back at the at the ship and he's like, quick, teleporter, teleporter. And you hear this, ah! and she gets teleported <laughs> into the ship and she just starts running around the inside of the ship because she's she has no idea what happened and she's still horrified running from this creature. And um, and I just thought like, that is, that's so, like, there's no other game. There's no other game where it's it's used that creatively and done that well. And uh, I agree completely. It's it's Man, definitely one of my favorite. I got to go back to favorite performance because you just debated this. I was glazing the <laughs> hell out of Lethal Company because I'm looking at chat and I'm seeing like all these question marks. I'm like, well, I guess I got to dig into this opinion. I guess I got to let everyone and Co's just give it like. <laughs> and I'm like, fucking shit, I got to sell this. And then you, yeah. there you go. I just I just didn't want to and I wanted you for me. So, you know, yeah. had, yeah. you, had you sell it to everyone. It worked. <laughs> It worked. I'll be your scapegoat for that. Uh, yeah, that was, really, I, I completely agree. It really was awesome. Make that game. It was so good. Uh, There's will, so few games when I'm in Discord and I'm like, okay, we can get out of Discord. We're going in game. Like, 100%. I mean, it's like so rare. Yeah. Well, uh, and also, and also, it's fun. To, it's fun to hear like, like when you're wa you're watching someone do the jump, that jump that everybody like fails at least once. At least. Once. Um, and you watch them and you're like, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. And then, ah. <laughs> and then you're 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 in the dead group and you, and you hear this ah because like, they, they come into you because yeah, they just pop in. It's great. <laughs> it's ten out of ten. Yeah. Um, oh man. Barry, let me know. Uh, lethal uh, VoIP was fourth uh, in the community, so uh, there were cool. there were folks oh, that voted for it. Also important to mention, 
they take the VOIP in game and graft it onto enemies, which again is just oh yeah, and that mod, yeah, that it's mod just, is it's incredible. so good, yeah, it's incredible. Like that, the mimic stuff is just oh man, yeah, they have so much fun with it. They have it's so great. much fun with it. It's great, without without question, good stuff. Uh, for me, it was actually a pretty close uh, decision with the building in Zelda as well, because I felt like that is just an absurd thing from like a, a reading different developers talk about how absurd that is from a physics perspective uh, really convinced me that it is something special. Anyways, next title, biggest surprise. This could go anywhere. There were a lot of surprises I feel this year uh, for a community. Baldur's <laughs> <laughs> Of course it was. Of Look, it I, was. I cannot. What does it say? The community does placed over 130 a... votes for BG3 here. Um, and it clears Liza P by 40 uh, votes, mainly for the surprise success on its reach and popularity. Now, that I could agree with. I don't think anyone would be like, yeah, Baldur's Gate 3 is going to be the biggest game of the year by a very large margin. I mean, it had what I think three hundred thousand yeah. people like yesterday. Like, what the fuck? This, this is this is definitely a game that no. I mean, everyone who knew about it thought it was going to be a lot of fun. I don't think a single person knew it was going to be this big. Yeah, like, I agree. it actually was. This is a great category to win this. Yeah, so. yeah, I would agree. Uh, I mean, it's so, not what who, I chose. Who though. said it? For my chat, uh, uh, Hella Devol said, "How was that a surprise? It was an early access for years." I mean, yeah. That's that's the fact fair, that it but like was as big as it was is a surprise. The fact yeah. that it went mainstream, I think, was the yeah. surprise. Like it's a CRPG. We've we've seen lots of those over the years. We've never ever seen one like this. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I agree. I I, I get why the community uh, went that route. I don't. I do not. Uh, I did not choose the same thing. And it looks like maybe you guys didn't either. Um, for me, it was uh, just a game that. You know, there's a billion of them. You see so many different types of these uh, these folks take on this genre, and they always just kind of like slightly miss the mark. It's never 100% there. Um, it's very rare, uh, and I, I actually could say it's so rare that this is the only one uh, for me that's ever done it, but it's Liza P. I did not expect it to be anywhere near the quality of a Souls game, and in a lot of ways, I would say it does some things better than the Souls franchise, which is fucking crazy that I'm saying that. Um, so yeah, for me, the biggest surprise is the fact that Liza P was anywhere as good as it was. Um, for, for the record, that was my, I was wrestling with two. Yeah, that was my was runner up. I, was didn't, your first I didn't one? end up going with it, but uh, well, you, I'll go next up, Yeah, what'd you so end up going with? The game, the game that I ended up going with was a game that I heard about, brushed off the first time, some other people were playing it and i was like ah, okay cool i'll give it a try i'll try it out uh ended up playing it for weeks ended up being like this is awesome and funny enough it has a lot of tangents to lies of p because it's doing a lot of things that have been done before but the pack and, and it does have some issues kind of like lies of p but the overall image and the vision and where they're taking it and where it's going is actually really exciting um, especially pertaining to some of the the attributes it has with it and how the devs are pushing in it. My biggest surprise of this year was Once Human. Okay. Sure. I well, I had God such damn son. <laughs> there you go. go. Nice dude. I I had such I... a great time in this game and I honestly I the only reason I put it down was because I was fundamentally completely sold on the fact that I can't wait for this game to be, you know, another beta or better yet the release. Um, I, I had a great time with it. I had multiple constructions, explored the world. Like it was, it's just a fun game, dude. It has problems and it's rough around the edges. Uh, but yep. if the devs really stick to this whole, like, give me no microtransactions or give me death kind of yeah. stance that they're on, um, I'm, I'm totally sold on this project and I uh, can't wait to play it when it comes out. This was another that's one. True. That's true. It's, not, released. No, it's not released. Where I wasn't sure if it was like a game or a moment in gaming or whatever so i was like <laughs> yeah just to, uh, just to beta, be super clear it's a beta so i think it's okay just to be it's super clear or whatever we we have we have tried to make this clear in the past and i think moving forward we should just make this 100 percent clear the only stipulation that a game has to be released is the top 10 games of the year 
like all of this stuff is is not necessarily yeah i agree it doesn't have to my be list out. agrees with like, that statement a lot of a lot of <laughs> yeah. yeah a lot of this a lot of the stuff in the specific categories like is is stuff that happened on the stream regardless of you know so i i think moving forward and we'll just be clear about this like it out in 1.0 is only for the top 10 list you know the funny thing is that i had that in the back of my head like i'm like it's not the top 10 so uh, i get I, I bet they'll forgive me i bet they'll forgive me for this one <laughs> yeah. um but yeah the once human it it, it came as a, a shock to me because it's uh first of all julia liked it and i know i barely like anything she likes um <laughs> <laughs> she was like play the disney game i'm like oh god and i played i'm like yeah it's about what i thought and then like all these other games. but this one i w from the first day of playing it i was like this you know, is a beta there's like not things that aren't translated some shit doesn't barely works and all this kind of stuff but i have put so many fucking hours into the beta i max i'm max leveled like i think max level is still 50 right as far as last the last time i logged I in was know, yesterday even, you got I further know. than i did oh so yeah. played a lot yeah. damn well, yeah, that that awesome, was man. that was surprised. Like, I'm surprised that Zeke played once human as much as he did because it kind of goes against a lot of things that you've said on this show in terms of just being a survival game. Like, you you don't generally it's, enjoy them. Well, that's the thing. Like, I am totally changing my tune. Like, I I guess I like them, but not to not usually to stream them. I streamed it because like I I, I didn't want to play anything else. Yeah. Like I, I, I wouldn't say like my once human streams were particularly good streams. Like as far <laughs> as like, you know, looking back on them and going, did everybody have fun? Was it everybody engaged and stuff like that? Like it's not a particularly fun game to watch or stream because it's a lot of like, okay, I gotta go here, clear out all these monsters. And this. But like, as far as like rats at the feeder bar, like in the, like, you know, the, in the science lab, if it, it's got good feeder bar, like I'm like, pellet, give me a food pellet, food pellet, food pellet. And it's yeah. great. For that and i've it turns out i love that shit apparently like it gave me a very similar feeling to like valheim where you can build these huge glorious castles but my house is like this little cube that has everything like set next to each other it's all like butted again no space there's no space in between anything because that's not efficient right there's no like decorations or anything like that i decorated uh, just to get like the like points uh journey points you get for that shit so like that's all I that's the only reason why I did that. The re, like I just put up like ten lamps next to each other, and I'm like, okay, there we go. <laughs> and then immediately once I got the thing, I just tore them all down because it was fucking clutter. Yeah. But uh, it, it, it's just yep. it, it constantly gives you stuff to do, and I am just I kept telling myself like you can stop playing now. They're going to erase your character. It is a beta. It's coming out in full release that's later true. on. You're just going to have to start from the beginning. And then my other brain, my, the other part of my brain was going, you get to start from the beginning. You get to start doing, you do it all over well, again. Dude, I'm like, on yeah. top of that, you what know they're doing wrong seasons? With me? <laughs> oh, it is a seasonal game. They're wow. doing seasons. I didn't know so that. So that means that you'll you'll play it for like three months and then they're going to restart the season. Oh, is this going to be like... Zeke's seasonal, first seasonal game? Where every three know, months man. he's gonna, and then me and you can just tune out like he does with people. <laughs> Bro, I, I might be there with Zeke. Oh, I'm like, gonna be the yeah. one tuning out. <laughs> You're gonna be the one. Me and Zeke can just gush no. out season of once human, and you can go Dude, play Marvel I, Snap or something. Oh yeah, there you I'm go. telling no. you, I'm telling you, homie. Like, if you want to do, like, just days in a row of co-op, like, <laughs> shit, dude. I'm yeah. down. We're, okay. When this when this game hits its first season, it's 1.0. We are getting a whole war band yeah. together. We're gonna try like the PvP stuff, big hive building, like the whole nine yards. That's the it's thing that real. I am missing from this is, is from the, this experience. Yeah. Is the, the group stuff. shit that you have to do, like the the hive and the war band stuff. We're gonna pick a nice little lake and make a little <sighs> commune a around it. It's gonna be great. There you yeah, go. Very excited. Um, no, I'm I'm super excited about that. And uh, yeah, any any time. Oh oh oh. Uh, when you were talking about seasons. Someone mentioned I was going to mention it. Um, there, this is the second game because I did fall into a TFT hole for a little bit. Oh, that is true. You, you <laughs> yes, were in the true, TFT. True. Yeah, that is yeah. true. That is true. <laughs> and then I, and then it was probably a good percentage of the reason why I started going to therapy for a little while. <laughs>
Oh, fair enough. Oh, yeah, it happens. Uh, just just to to add this in real quick, because there's a lot of people I think that are interested in one semen in both our communities. Uh, they have not talked too much about the seasonal stuff. Uh, we don't know if they're going to like delete the old servers when the new seasons come out. Um, I think there there probably is going to be some form of evergreen because it's a building survival game, and I'm sure they want people to be able to keep their large buildings over time if they want to. Um, the seasonal aspect is going to be like if you if you play the game, there's like this, these meta goals that the whole server works on. And that part of it is going to be continually filling and emptying and filling and emptying. So people have assumed that that means that character wipes are going to come along with them. Um, but I think they're still, I think the devs are still figuring out how they're going to do it. So they've been big about player feedback so far and the game doesn't come out until end of this year. So, you know, people should let them know. There you go. Biggest surprise. Next category. <laughs> Biggest disappointment. It can't be Baldur's Gate 3, so now I really don't know oh. what they're going to be voting for. <laughs> oh, that, okay, Starfield, yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Makes, that checks, that, yeah. that that checks. Yeah, okay, that that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. I thought it uh, might be the day before. I, the thing is, though, yeah. is, is you can only be so disappointed with day before, because I think, I, I would argue that more than half of people already knew it was going to be garbage. <laughs> like it was the kind of thing. Oh, sure. Ser no, seriously. Like no, the way, right. the way I that mean, they I was were completely one of those, yeah. bungling PR that were they were sh like Starfield. I think Starfield. The reason that 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 it was such a disappointment is because people had such hopes for it. Yeah. They were hoping that it. Well, it's the next oh, Bethesda hoping. game, right? Yeah. Like, they were yeah. hoping it would be the next Skyrim. So when it came out and it was so lackluster, it's like that. That what were the schism is so much JP? larger. Uh, so Starfield, 40% of the vote. That might be the biggest damn. percentage. Yeah. <laughs> Place two, Baldur's Gate 3. Place two was Diablo 4, funny oh. enough. Okay. Uh, okay. Number okay. three was Industry Layoffs. Uh, and number oh, four okay. was Redfall. Which makes, I don't know, yeah, Redfall's a little bit harder of a sell for disappointment, because I don't know if, I don't know. You know what? I'll check you on that. Yeah? Redfall, really? So, were, yeah. was that because you were you were excited and hyped? I guess it is because the arcane connection, right? It was arcane. Yeah. Okay. It was arcane. That makes sense. I I I finished Redfall because I was hoping to find a little bit of that company that I love so much in there, and um, it it was it it's really unfortunate. They essentially took a team that's really good at making fighting games and said, "Go make us a racer." You know, like it's <laughs> it's total it's totally yeah. outside of what they're good at. It, it 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 a little of what arcane austin is good at showed through but there was so much of it that it's just it's never done before it's never done well like it's just the whole the whole thing was just very very that that's why it was such a disappointment to me was because there's so much in arcane that i love in gaming and this product was just devoid of most of what makes arcane special yeah it felt like a hundred percent phone in and uh it sucks Starfield, at least for me, I mean, I again, I played a bunch of Starfield. I feel like it was not quite as much of a disappointment for me because I went in with very tempered expectations. Um, so I, I went in with lowered expectations. So even though I came out with, with a little disappointment, <laughs> it wasn't quite as much as what I was going in for for Redfall. So yeah, but yeah, it, Redfall's mine for sure. Okay. Zeke, what was yours? Are you sure you don't want to go, JP? I mean, I can go, but my mine has not been mentioned yet. I don't know if yours has been mentioned yet. No, mine mine has not been mentioned yet either. I want I want you to go because I want to give you enough time. <laughs> you'll you'll understand. You'll understand what I mean. <laughs> okay, I I don't know what Please. that means. Uh, I yield my time to the gentleman from uh, okay. Missouri. Fair enough. Thank Ta you. Time is yielded to the gentleman from Missouri. Thank you. Mm. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. I'm here to talk about my biggest disappointment for 2023. Uh, this was a game that I actually really enjoyed playing uh, the first one of and was expecting to just dive into this one. However, upon release, no one really, like, I don't think anyone was uh, excited by it. They just kind of missed the mark. City Skylines 2. Uh, I'm, hoping, issues, man. I'm hoping that it gets something down the line. Uh, that makes me go back and like fall in love, but man, um, at launch, it was just terrible. Like it, it, was, it was not anywhere, uh, what I was expecting. Um, yeah, yep. it, and I was just sad cause I loved that first game so much. I was so excited when this game got announced. Um, 
However, the more we saw videos for it coming out, the more we looked at it and thought like, that game looks really, that game might look too, I don't think that game's gonna run well. And then it came out and it it struggled. Um, I think they have it finally moved out it. of mostly negative. <laughs> yeah, oh, on Steam. I think they have yeah. done some improvements uh, to it, but it's from my understanding still in, in a rough spot. And the unfortunate thing is you can only launch once uh, unless you're No Man's Sky. So uh, it takes a lot. <laughs> it takes a lot to get uh, that good faith back from the community. And, and they kind of shattered it with the performance there at launch. Um, so. Yep. Yeah, that was my biggest. Well, for one thing, they could and, take and the Cyberpunk for fifty bucks. Yes, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, Zeke, I yield my time back to you. Uh, okay. Because I don't know what that meant. <laughs> I yeah, was I'm... I was actually really excited to play this, and I was excited because I, like it was going to be a fun co op game, and it was gonna like I had a peripheral ready to go, and then the game just sucked so much ass. Go ahead and show don't it. Don't be don't be that Simpson game. <laughs> oh oh no I, way! That's what I thought it was gonna be. Really? <laughs> the second no he kidding. said peripheral, God, I was I like, it. oh, I know exactly oh, what man. this is. We're gonna play a fun <laughs> truck driving game. <laughs> Hours of being stuck in the mud, waiting for someone to winch me out if they could. Now and and I, like I had the wheel and I was like, yeah, we're gonna have some fun. And I was like, okay. I'm stuck again. Okay, I'm stuck again. And I'm stuck again. Oh my God. This is one of those games that just boggles me. <laughs> it boggles me that people like it. Yeah. That, look, that was a hundred months well spent by me. I'm I'm yeah. glad. I'm glad. There's a new one coming out, by that, the way, on the first like, of March. I was like, JP, are you like I it was your hundred month choice? Like, I'm sorry I didn't have fun. And then I realized it's JP. Like this is Schadenfreude in a human form. Like, yeah. Oh, I love. I absolutely fucking <laughs> yeah. love this game. Yeah, it's so fun to me. It's yeah. good one. It's but good one. yeah, I had to put it on there because I was like, okay, what's my biggest disappointment? I'm like, oh, this, that, and then I, then I went. I was like, go, I went down the list every game I played, and I went, oh fuck, it's got to be that one. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was, I was really super excited because I'm, I'm playing with my buddies. I'm playing with JP and stripping. We're gonna have a great time. <laughs> And then it ended up being like a not very good time at all. Yeah, yeah that was that was a fun experience for me. Not so much for you. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, question. no, no, I, yeah. I know, I, I know that yeah. very, very well. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, I, 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 I still feel bad about the, the having making you buy the peripheral. That oh, we no, also, no, no. Like, I, I, if we ever meet up again in person, I'll take you out to dinner. Take you to a nice dinner. <laughs> okay. Dinner. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I do think it's worth uh, going back and saying uh, if this was more industry focused and less uh, like game, I actually struggled with. I almost went with the industry layoffs just because of like how crazy it was this year um, and continues to be the fact. I mean, I don't want to sound like a broken record because it's been talked about, but it it's insane how much money companies are making and how many people are being fired at the same time. It's actually insane. I thought we did like the reason why I didn't even consider it is because I thought like that was one of our discussions. Like we're not we don't want to bring people down. Remember because we had that yeah. biggest like yeah. disappointment brought to you by Activision Blizzard or whatever. Yeah, and then we took it off because yeah. it was like this year sucked for devs. Yeah, and for employees. The the uh, Ben Star. I think I think if you like want more on that subject, go look up like Ben Star's interview. Um, I forgot that might have been at the Game Awards or the Baftas. He gave a great, very poignant uh, statement about like layoffs in the industry this year, and and uh, I don't think anyone's done it better uh, since. Rami's Twitter is also a great, just constant drip feed of how fucked up things are uh, when it comes to the industry. If you want like an insider's perspective of it, so uh, one last thing I forgot to mention about my game um, that I, I guess I have to thank you for, JP, is oh? it's it's. I think it might be my most watched. If not, it's in the it's one of my most watched clips of the year is me taking the wheel off of my desk and throwing it on the ground. <laughs> nice. Yep. Nice. Yeah. There we yeah. go. Awesome. I was like looking like top clips of me of this year. Yep. Fuck. Fantastic. Fantastic. It's me getting mad. Imagine that. Yeah. Yeah. Who would have thought? Who would've... Well, look, I I got twenty hours of Fatalis clips, Zeke. So I'm right there behind you. You know, right there behind you with getting mad. Games we wish we played. 
We got three of them here, except for Co. Except I uh, only did one. He only had one. Games I want to. Yeah. 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 Much. Uh, do we have community votes for this? I'm gonna hit toggle community. Okay, we do. Um, cool. I'm curious what these are. Uh, I'm going to expect three to be revealed. Nice. Spider-Man two, coming in at number three. Number two. Armored Core. I swear you didn't play that. Spotter. The first one's no, this is community, three, dude. This is community. No. Oh, this is community. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't be PG. Number one is Alan. Okay, good. <laughs> I, I, I feel I like that's a PG pretty three. good list. Yeah, I feel like that's, that's, a, that's a, a good good, list. That's a good list. That's a good list. It makes yep. a lot of sense. I feel like Alan Wake Two was the game that got a ton of recognition uh, from the Game Awards thanks to that performance and, and put a lot of got got put on a lot of people's radar. Uh, because also a lot of people saying that they didn't play Alan Wake 2 because they didn't play the first one yeah sure it makes a lot of sense makes a lot of sense that's a really good list it's such a good list that uh man number two would have been a great choice uh for uh something let's do let's go go for it JP. <laughs> <laughs> for me uh <laughs> games we wish we played mine was i i went with Games we wish we would have played, parenthesis, more of, in parenthesis. That's really okay, where mine are. That's what my that's list fair. is. Uh, and I am playing one of these actively, and it's my number third pick, Asgard's Wrath 2. Uh, mm -hmm. I play about two hours a night because that's what the battery allows for. Uh, <laughs> on the Quest 3, I actually ordered the, like, uh, the headset battery so I could do four hours a night. Um, but yeah, I'm having a blast with, with Asgard's Wrath. Uh, it's crazy to me. Um, one that it's actually a VR game that has me excited about VR again. And I'm actually like looking at other VR products to buy cause I'm having so much fun with this one. Um, it's also crazy to me that people reviewed this game and it's a 90 hour VR game because I don't know how you, you can't like, how do you review that when you can play two hours at a time? And it takes a fucking long, unless they had multiple, I don't know how they did it. I don't know how you actually do that hardware wise. There's no way to play Asgard's Wrath 2 on the index, is there? I don't believe so. No. That, un unless you do like the meta quest, there, there might be like a, forget what the name of it is. Um, th there is some sort of mod that might make it so you could do that. Oh, there, there is a cable to the quest three, but it sucks. Yeah. It's not, it's not. It adds time to it in terms of the charge, but it's not like super, super good at just like, oh, you can play forever when it comes to uh, to the quest. But yeah, anyways, all that hard hardware limitations aside, I'm enjoying Asgard's Wrath a lot. Um, and it's 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 fun. I wish I played more of it. And, and I'm going to try and continue playing and finishing it sometime this year. It's become the one piece of, of video games for me because I can only That is play the it. game that is going to be, that is going to be the first game in my VR room. Uh, and I can only play two hours a night. Yeah. I'm, it's I'm, perfect I'm for your night stream. It it's right perfect yeah, for your night stream. Not wrong. Because you can just, it's limit. Uh, there's a limit to how long you can go. Uh, number two, for do we want to do all the lists or do you want to go around? I think. We'll just do all the lists. Okay, we'll do all the lists. Yeah. Uh, for me, number two, I talked about it earlier. We've already discussed this game, or at least I have. Um, it came out at a time where I wasn't sleeping very much and it didn't really work in terms of anger management. Street Fighter Six. I wish I played more of that uh, and I actively want to play more of that this year because um, I do think it is currently the, the best uh, fighting game out and competitive fighting game and something that I want to, I just want to be, I want to play more and, and want to be able to be like, yeah, I play blah, 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 and main blah, 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 and I'm rank blah, blah, blah. It, it's got... Oh, yeah, I was just going to ask, just out of curiosity, who is your main? Well, it... I don't have one because I, I played Honda okay. during the subathon and that was fun. Um, but like, I kind of need to play my namesake because there's a character. I was going to say, this is the one with JP in it. There's right? a yeah. JP in this game. Um, but he's, he's, he's good too, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's, he was, I don't know if he still is like top of the, the yeah. tier list. Um, but he's like a zoning character and I've never really been one to play um, that style of, of character. So, well, now you lost me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway uh number one for me funny enough is a game that i put 50 hours into 60 hours into 
uh, and I only got halfway through it. Um, and I guess now I'm making connect the connection with Asgard's Wrath 2 somewhat of a hardware limitation. Uh, and I'm now juggling, do I want to continue playing it or do I want to play on the Switch 2? Uh, I thought you beat Gollum. <laughs> no, no, I did not beat Gollum. Or I did beat Gollum, but I did not beat Zelda uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Oh. I only got oh, yeah. like, uh, uh, I got two of four temples down and I spent 50 or 60 hours in that. Um, okay. And now I'm struggling with like, do I want to play that uh, in a better high fidelity version or continue with the the Switch, which is a struggle bus uh, and a massive hardware limitation for it. So we will see. We'll see where it goes. But yeah, those are the uh, the three games that I wish I had played, comma, more of. Uh, Zeke, let's go with you. Because Co will be you short and sweet, apparently. Short and sweet. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure how like it goes up, but you can. Go It'll be three. And It'll be three. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, the game I, games of which you played the the first one is a uh, an indie game that I heard nothing but good shit about, and I just never picked it up. Venba. Oh. Okay. Um, it's it's that um um I I can't remember if it's uh Indian Pakistani something like that, but I it's think, it's, I a, think it's it a. It's about culture and about cooking and about learning about uh, 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 traditions, family, and, and that kind of stuff. And yeah. I've heard nothing good, but good things about it, and I just, I never picked it up, yeah. unfortunately. It's only about a two-hour um, game, by the way, yeah. I was told. So it, I, I've been looking at that yeah, one, too. Yeah, exactly. I, I could just play it. Yeah, <laughs> I just I, didn't. Exactly right. Same here. Uh, another game that, that I wish I played, um, that I probably will play someday in the future, but it would have been fun, just to because I played uh, the... The original, not too long ago, Resident Evil Four remake. I wish I would have played that. Sure. Uh, I didn't. Hey, I didn't touch that. Just, I it just things get edged out. Time, like, and also like being a variety streamer. You're like, okay, I want like me personally. It's like, okay, I played a new game. That means I got to play a game that's not new. And now <laughs> I got to play this a newer game, and then an older game, and yeah. then blah, blah blah. And it just didn't fit in there. And I, I I'm sad. I'm sad about that. Um, and the top game. I think you're right. Like it's just because it's it's PlayStation, probably Spider-Man Two. Didn't play it. Ba Wish I did. Barry, did you use the Spider-Man Two movie art? <laughs> he did. <laughs> That's great. Oh, Barry. <laughs> I mean, Google image search. Are we, are we about to get DMCA or something? <laughs> no, Let's... no. I'm just saying because that's the that's the DVD for Spider Man. Yep. <laughs> All right. I wish I played Tobey Maguire a little yeah. bit more. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's funny as hell. Only a fucking yeah. like Marvel nerd with like would look at that immediately and pick it up. That's funny. Shit. Was there was there a graphic <laughs> with the with the audience ones? Uh. Let me see. Did we not catch it then? There was, yeah. Oh, he got it right yeah, there. He got it right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's hilarious. Uh, Co, what is the one game? And also, why one game? Uh, is it just because you so, said you played everything? I I mean, really, if I if I really wanted to play something, I, I tend to just play it. Yeah. It's like, my wife hates getting Christmas stuff for me because I'm the same way with, with, like, things I want. Like, if I, if I don't really want a lot of stuff, and if I want to just get it myself so yeah. it's like you know and it's the same way with gaming like i you know i stream 10 hours a day so i generally i generally play all the things that i i want to play however there are games that come along every so often that for just various reasons i'm not able to really get down and, and play and the one that i really wish this year i would have done was uh sea of stars man i mean i i really wish oh. i could have sat down and spent some time in sea of stars i've heard nothing but good things about it i think i was a backer um the game has just been awesome and uh yeah i'm 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 looking forward to playing it one day i wish i had played it because as many people have said especially after my chained echoes experience they were like it probably would have been in your top 10 dude like those that know me i could see so, that yeah definitely a game that i wish i had spent more time with this year yeah that's a really good pick too i i think that would probably if I, if this was five that would have showed up for me because i put it would have been games we wish we played more of because I put yeah. eight hours and I I bounced off of it. Um, I don't think I hit the like the hook, as it were, in that game that a lot of people talk about. So I don't know what that is, but I would love to uh, love to find out. 
So if you ever do that, I'll probably watch your playthrough to see what exactly honestly, what my that list, book is. If I would have come out of the same with the same idea that JP did, my list might have been a lot different. Like games we wish we played more of. Yeah, because I, I I'm kind of time for or wanted to, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm I think I'm uh, like Co in terms of I generally will play what I want to play um yeah. most of the time until i can't anymore for like business reasons <laughs> zelda i think i don't know if i could ever stream that again that category is maybe probably maybe it's a runner. problem with maybe it's a problem with the wording of the category maybe it's games we missed sure yeah that might make more sense yeah yeah, yeah. i mean games it's we also wish we didn't miss or whatever or it's not wish but like yeah. you know you know what i mean i added more the to the category so. different yeah yeah uh what is next Oh, most anticipated game of 2024. I thought this was going to be the last one, but that's fine. Uh, me and Co got two long ass ones. I are... definitely put a split. Oh, you put... <laughs> I put two. I'm sorry. You put a split. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. I put two. Uh, let's go Did with audience vote first or no? Yeah, let's do audience votes. Uh, good call. Good call. Okay. Uh, it is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Makes a lot of sense. That was 14% of the vote. Hades 2 was 13% of the vote. And Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth was 7% of the vote. So um, low percentages, though, which means that people are looking forward to a lot of different stuff this year, which is uh, that's good means good year, potentially. Hey, um, well, well, they can't look forward to Starfield. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Most anticipated game Wait. of 2024, Baldur's Gate 3. Hold on, was that, um, what was our most anticipated game last year? I am curious. Hold on. I have the list on. Uh, I believe mine was DD2. What was it? Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was going to say, because DD2 uh, can be one for next year, too. Yeah, I don't have it. Uh, I don't have it up. What? I'm trying to see. It's probably if... Starfield for me. I think it, I think most of us was Starfield. Yeah, we only have back to 2021. We haven't updated for last year. Um, it was probably Starfield, though. Uh, anyways, let, let's do ours uh, for this oh. year. <laughs> That's right. What? I'll do I'll do mine because I think I did the same one two years in a row because I thought I I think it was most anticipated game and it didn't say the year. So I was like, well, Hades too. Like, uh. like I think it was the same one as last year. I mean it's not I a bad thing. Thing. Sure. Fucking, I I have a, a serious veiny heart on for this game and I wanna I wanna play it. I don't I'm think really you excited to play it. It was I'm a resounding really game of the year when it came out yep. uh for a ton of people. Um uh, so I get it. I get it. Uh, Co, you did two, apparently. I did. What What are the two games? What's the split decision? So for me, it's it's one franchise that I absolutely am just infatuated with. Okay. One of my favorite franchises. And the second one is a game that I've literally been waiting over, God, close to or over 10 years for. So, um, yeah, my two oh. games are Yakuza Infinite Wealth and stalker mm -hmm. two okay well barry just oh, put stalker only two. put one he just put one because barry just said right? fuck, but fuck anyway, yakuza I, yeah it's just stalker cool. <laughs> um but no i actually put um stalker two and like a dragon infinite wealth were my two that makes and, sense. and i and the thing is what is what's wild is this was not an easy one like i'm also really looking forward to dragon's dogma two i'm really looking forward to space marine two like there's there's lots yeah. of of actually pretty great games coming out this year rebirth obviously i mean that's like a no-brainer um, so yeah, I mean, the, hope avowed is, I think, coming out this year too. Eventually, right? yeah. Did they announce that, yeah. I think so. So there's there's Homeworld three, Poe two, like Cat just keeps coming out with amazing games. So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking it forward. It should to all be this a really good then, year. So. Yeah, we yeah we, we thought seemed, it was going to be kind of a down up to of be year. a pretty great year. Absolutely. Should so, be. And good. we got Once Human later this year as well. That's another big one that I know is going to be good. And I'm going to enjoy. So yeah. Yeah, man. I don't, oh, the so game, slip crit. Oh, I'm not forgetting the Gothic remake. Yeah, I don't think that's the same. Uh, the VOD of 2022 says JP's most anticipated uh, of this year, uh, Final Fantasy 16, Co was Starfield, and I was Hades 2, which yeah. was. I'm sorry. One second, guys. A, a yeah. misunderstanding on my part, probably. Yeah, that tracks. That tracks. That makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, so I, I forgot that I still had to go, and now I got to see what I put down. Oh, okay. Yeah, look, the, the, I mean, you don't have to talk. You know, I mean, 
Like, I, I don't need to describe it. Oh, I was like, <laughs> Dawn Trail? I've never fucking heard of it. Oh, it's a Final Fantasy. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I, don't need to, no, no. I don't need to describe why that's there. Uh, th- we got the final trailer for it last night uh, at the Fan Fest, and we got the... Oh. Julia's in the game, by the way. Uh, I was so disappointed seeing that. Like, Which part? The whole... The- Pictogrist or whatever the Pictomancer. You're not a fan of the terrible. Pictomancer. Looks terrible. <laughs> okay. It looks absolutely the, the like, art. I, like the you're talking about they, the they're gonna, they're gonna put they're gonna put in this art class. Yeah, and then it's gonna be like the most like bottom of the line simplistic art. It doesn't fit with the rest of the world. The moves look so dumb. Like you're gonna put an artist in your game, and they're gonna have moves like. Drop an ice thing and look a beam, and it's like you could be so creative with this. And this is just like the most default, like, uh, oh, I don't know, man. I love it. Yeah, when just, you say pictomancer, I, I honestly, in my head, I was like, sorry, oh, it's gonna be like someone no, using no, scribble no. knots. I like scribble knots like, like, like draw yeah, a rocket I'd... ship and have it fall on somebody or something like that. Zeke, this is here. I don't look. Let's give some. Uh... Chad is Chad is so angry with me right now. This it's is, a mage with a paintbrush, this dude. Is like, come on, Zeke. This is what they showed last night. It's Julia. It's quite literally Julia in game. Uh, and you'll see what Co is talking about right now. Cause I was a little bit Co, I was a little bit confused when I was like, is that actually like the in-game graphics? Yeah. That, I don't know. It just it does it. It's very not Final <laughs> Fantasy. Is this FFX Nickelodeon? <laughs> I, very... I look at I look at this and I go, this doesn't look like it belongs in this game. It's very like, it, not it's Final not, Fantasy. It doesn't fit themes it looks like it looks like the freaking nintendo paint game splatoon, splatoon it does look or whatever yeah like, like I, I mean it's just like they show like a beam yeah okay cool. beam. like generic mage beam and then a little bit later they show like you're just dro- dropping an ice thing on somebody it's like if you're gonna put an art class in make it creative and fun and interesting it just seems like they're making a mage with a paintbrush yeah oh i'm hoping i'm wrong i'm just saying we will see. i'm just saying i expect here's here's the thing i say everything i'm saying out of love i like final <laughs> fantasy 14 I want it to be amazing. It's been amazing to this point. I just saw that, and I and I immediately thought, I feel like you could do better. I feel it was, like this is it's all I'm saying. I think I it like there will be, be a little bit of a. I hope I'm wrong. I think there will be a little bit of a divide within the community. I don't think you're, I think they're absolutely yeah, well. Yeah, I think people are gonna emphatically love anything that they put down. So anytime there's like a little bit of a like people like me where I'm like, yeah, it's kind of cool, but I feel like it could be better. No, you shut up. <laughs> it's perfect and beautiful and gorgeous. Maybe so. How dare you? Maybe so. How dare. I thought it was ironic that earlier this week the Square Enix president talked about how they're gonna use AI art. And then Final Fantasy 14 announces that their next class is an artist. <laughs> I love that part of it. That was uh, I was really into that part. That was good. That was good. Anyway, called this class the unsighted artist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great timing on You'll that. You'll never know who made this. I'm sure. I'm sure that that letter came out and Yoshi P was just like, <sighs> <sighs> yeah, <laughs> <I'm bad. laughs> yeah. All right, let's move maybe, on. Maybe it'll paint your next NFT. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Next category might be our top 10. Oh no, top 3 games streamed. Uh Okay. Zeke, you go first. Let's see your list. Okay. I'm curious. Um <clears throat> All right. Uh starting at number 3, uh, I mentioned it earlier, um and the reason why it uh didn't cuz I said this this was my other choice for a, a different category. And the reason why the other choice beat it out is because this one is better streamed. King of the Castle. Um, ah. Multiplayer game that you play with chat. God, every time <laughs> we fire it up, it is just so much fun to have a great game that has a super good in, uh, Twitch integration where it's you versus all of the chat because it's, it's really difficult to do. Um, but having them like you're the king the streamer is the king and they uh, they they split off into three factions and they all like try and dethrone you usurp usurp the crown uh or the throne or whatever yeah and it's just watching the 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 schemes and the fails and like people shouting in chat like vote me vote me you know everybody's like changing their their name colors to like match like 
the purple of the barons or the 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 red of the uh um whatever clan um but like it's it was just so much fun uh every time we streamed it and i i just had a blast great game awesome um <clears throat> my second game <laughs> my second game streamed it makes the list because this is about how much enjoyment you had streaming the game and not how good the game was okay, my number okay. two game streamed stray souls boy did i have oh, fucking wow. fun streaming that with chat holy shit you didn't just do the demo oh, the actual dude. game just playing that shit and fucking just looking at all the just the jank of it and how like poorly it is like it was optimized like and all the assets just it was it was just like being in a room full of people just going boo <laughs> you suck and everybody was joining in throwing tomatoes and shit it was fucking fun as hell and i look forward to, i think i streamed it like at least two days if not three because of that because the game itself not great but streaming it with chat holy fuck that was good that was so much fun. yeah so much fun. this was one of the last games that versus evil published before they got stray game. souls was Ooh, yeah fuck okay there's there's rumors that it may have been the the <sighs> nail in the coffin damn yep damn yeah what was number one z and my number one number one game stream this year and might be the the it's definitely the greatest game of the series if not the greatest game of all time i hit reveal metal gear rising revenge oh, oh okay okay playing okay. that game there we go <laughs> sure right. was just it, it not only this combined the 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 game being good and fun and non-stop and just you know rocking music and just cheesy fucking lines delivered with a straight face and you know all of that shit combined and just sharing it for the first time because i'd never played it before sharing it for the first time with chat and i'm like what the fuck and they're like yeah dude what the fuck right <laughs> i'm like this is the, this might be the best game ever they're like we know that it was just so good that game to is share a trip. that with them and i had no idea because everybody talks about metal gear and I, 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 this doesn't like, it's a, it's like an outside of what I can, what I thought of as Metal Gear, you know, like yeah. you think of Metal Gear, the solid snake, the espionage, you know, all the goofiness, the weird shit like that. This is like devil may cry Metal Gear and it is bananas good. Oh yeah. <laughs> like all the way through I had, I, there was not a dull or bad moment in that entire game. And I just, I, I relish sharing of a chat. That game is fucking, that's a trip. Final boss, yeah. absolutely one of the best, I think, just in general. Uh, when it comes to final bosses, absolutely oh, yeah. absurd. Uh, yeah, for me, uh, top three game stream, I this was a, a really insane year because I had so much. This was a hard list, just to boil it down to three. I enjoyed so many different things that I streamed, and not uh, most of them, I think, were off of our top ten games. Um, like runner ups, I, I, since I had such a hard time right at number four, almost three could have been playing league with me and stripping. We had like a whole thing behind it. There's like this weird joms narrative, uh, which no one's going to understand unless you were there. Uh, and that was super fun. Uh, I just had a blast playing that style of game. Um, and I think, uh, we played, it was one of my most played games of the year, just in terms of time. Um, I had a blast with that. Uh, but that was like the honorable mention. For me, number three wasn't a good game. It is not, This is my Stray Souls pick of the year. Uh, it's, Gollum it up! It's the Lord yeah! of the Rings Gollum. Uh, an absolutely awful game. Uh, but it was a blast to play. And it every time that, uh, that, we, that this got picked on the wheel when I would spin, during the subathon, chat would just fucking erupt that it was another 30 minutes of Gollum. Uh, and there was one time I think where it got like five or six hours straight and I was outwardly dreading it, but inwardly I was just so pleased. I was just <laughs> excited <laughs> to go play this shit. Uh, cause chat just had a blast with it. So 
yeah, yeah. Lord of the Rings, Gollum. Th there's a there's a fun factor to kind of like what Zeke was saying with Stray Souls, where like everyone gets together and they know what the the goal is and what the objective uh, is set out for the stream. And and that was just like, man, this game's terrible, but we're gonna watch you play it. Um, and and the bugs in Gollum, it the bugs in Gollum made the game fun because of how absurd they were. Like you would go up and there'd be a giant spinning wheel. And for some reason, you would do a thing and that wheel would rotate off its axis and would just start spinning in random ways throughout the level. And it would just spin off into the distance <laughs> and it would still have physics on it. So one of those times I just used it as a giant shortcut and like did a, I got lucky with a silly jump and like it, the bugs made that game uh, an enjoyable experience to stream. However, I cannot recommend you buy it whatsoever. Do not spend money on this. And especially do not spend the $10 uh, extra for the deluxe edition. Uh, it is not worth it. Do not do it. You do not need to hear the Elvish voice acting. It's not worth it. Uh, number two for me uh, was actually not a surprise at all. This was up there with some of my favorite streams <laughs> of the year. And it's kind of uh, the reason why I think in 2024 I'll be so focused on just playing games with other streamers because uh, I had a fucking blast playing Lethal Company uh, whenever we would get a group together. It was just so much fun. It, the stream just flew by. There were so many funny things that happened um, that were just like absolute standout moments for me. Uh, Ko being on the bridge and getting electrocuted by lightning is a clip I've watched probably a hundred times because I still can't believe that it went down the way that it went down. Uh, or just having Zeke, you know, scream at the top of his lungs and doing exactly how he described earlier, where he's screaming <laughs> at the top of his lungs and then he's screaming in the dead chat at the top of his lungs <laughs> because of something oh, that, that no! went, yeah, that didn't go his way. Uh, so I, I had a fucking blast. Lethal Company was a, a absolute riot. Uh, and I, I cannot wait to do more just group focused stuff uh, throughout 2024. Uh, number one for me goes back to the Thon, uh, and it was kind of a fallback game. Um, it spawned another weird alter ego on the channel, uh, and it was honestly one of my favorite uh, things to do this year. If it came out this year, it would have been in my top 10 list, but it came out in 2022. It was Q Remastered. What a fucking wow, game. Wow, dude, I'm so happy to see that on the list because it was a, a fucking contender, dude. Yeah, what a game Q Remastered is. Yeah. Uh, and just endless amounts of puzzles. And so simple, too. Like, it, it's literally just a game where you draw lines and try to solve puzzles. Uh, and it's it's an absolute banger. And it's, what, like 10 bucks for, what, a 1,000 plus puzzles or some absurd stuff? Uh, had an absolute blast yeah. playing that uh and it's really rare of me to enjoy a puzzle game on stream because it's, I think, one of the hardest games to stream. But this game, not having like clear, clear ways to solve something made it so the normal pitfalls of streaming a puzzle game couldn't occur. And you just, you were along for the ride of watching me try to make stupid levers for <laughs> hours and hours at a time. So yeah, that was uh, that was my favorite game to stream this year was Q Remastered. I am not ashamed to say that I have eighty plus hours in that. Just figuring, God, just yeah, figuring shit out. because it's so it's so easy. It's like after dinner, I would just open up my laptop, we'd watch a movie, and I'd be like, just doing levels, just seeing you know, just failing over and over again. Yeah, it's great. It's all about those hooks. You know, you got to get yep. all all the hooks and all the levers. Go. Yep. So, yep. Let's hear your top three games streamed of the year. Cool. So uh, I purposefully uh, did not try to include games that were in my top 10, um, which wasn't anything we talked about, but I just kind of wanted to, you know. Sure. Yeah, do this. So uh, my third, the game that I had probably the most entertainment and fun streaming this year, uh, was a game that I returned to after a long time. It was a, a playful playthrough that was was very meaningful to me. I had a great time with it. The new stuff was amazing. And frankly, it was so cool to see we had gotten to this point. So my my third favorite oh. stream was the Cyberpunk, uh, Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven expansion Phantom Liberty. I had a fantastic time with that, and I loved all the new content. The two point updates were fantastic. The build we did was a huge amount of fun. It was great going from like, 
people begging me to use guns at the beginning because I was getting my ass kicked so hard to at the end being like, man, is this, is this too easy for him? Like, what's going on? <laughs> it's like, yeah, this is good. I like this. This is good. So um, as we could not, we didn't do expansions on our top 10 list. Um, I did want to give it like a, a nod. Yeah. Um, since we were going to do an expansion category, but we all kind of agreed that was going to be the winner anyway. So but it was fantastic. And I had a great time with it. So moving up the list, uh, the, the game up here is what I've already talked about. It was one of those ones that, it was just fun turning on the stream because I never knew what I was doing that day. I always had an idea, but it was, it, I always kind of just, you know, saw what I wanted to do, talked to chat about what was new or found out the night before and kept going. And that was Once Human. I had a fantastic time streaming Once Human. Uh, it was a lot of fun and I can't wait to get back to it. And those streams were really chill and very, there's a lot of variety in them in terms of what you can do in the game. So that made them kind of seem to bring in a very cool audience and had a great time with it. And my number one top game streamed in 2023, you would never, if you had told me years ago that this game would be on a list of mine, I would never have believed you. Oh, I think. But sure enough, I had such a good time streaming World of Warcraft Hardcore. Um, I, I, it was great, dude. There was like this golden moment where um, every time I'd log in, there'd be like, 20 to 30 people saying hi and so many people were playing and people from all over the map that i've always you know chatted with but never had a chance to play through it was great um it, it was it was really really fun and unfortunately for me the thing that that kind of killed it was a combination of uh sod coming out and then right before that we actually uh removed the fansly guild from our guild chat yeah so like the first step was my my guild chat essentially going from like super active and kind of fun to like non-existent. And then like a week or two later, everyone left the server. Yeah. <laughs> and I tried SOD, oh, but really couldn't get into it. And then I tried to go back on hardcore, but I felt like I was playing on a dead server. And like, I, I even, there were, there were a few streams where I tried to just like solo level and just keep playing and maybe they'll all come back one day. And, and like, I, <laughs> I just couldn't do it. Some I couldn't say, do it. So I got, I got to, yeah. I got to say Soda's but... still on that, that server, just walking around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just walking around. I know, right? No, they're, I think they're actually still raiding. They had, they had such an amazing set of raids, and, and they, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of those guys for doing it. I really wish I had made 60 and been able to play, but yeah. that last, that last push. The, the only thing that I've learned from this is I absolutely will, if I ever see the clouds forming over a storm like this again of a lot of streamers getting together just and like jumping, jumping on a server. And yeah. I'm just going to jump it. And, and you know, like that, it was a, a big learning experience. Yeah. Um, as I never, ever thought that I would play wild WoW like I did. And it turned out to be one of the most fun games I streamed this year. So yeah. Yeah. It was uh, a lot of fun. Yeah. That was a wild, uh, you said storm and it really was just a perfect storm for like streamer participation. Uh, I, most of my, Leveling was off stream and I still had a blast just logging in. Oh no. Well, well I did so uh Nova and Axe and Chat so so to quit again. They yeah. actually I, Oh, I didn't hear that. I feel like it was a done deal, yeah. There was just a yeah. unfortunate uh circumstance. To be fair, he was he was treating that guild like a like an action. It was a job, job. yeah. And he's got so much stuff going on in his life that are not related to that. Like that yeah. I'm I'm yeah. It's it's so funny, really. I I don't spend too much time on that, but it's so funny how that whole event was like a microcosm of MMOs. Like mm -hmm. all your friends are playing, it's super fun, it's you're having so much fun. The next day, no one's online. A week later, <laughs> you realize that you were playing because other people were playing, and then you quit. Oh, and that's exactly dude, I was how I was. I was 100% upfront from the beginning. I was like, I'm not playing this game because it is World of Warcraft. I am playing this game for a variety of reasons. Yeah. Like, and all of those reasons added up are while I'm playing it. That's the reason that when it when all those other reasons disappeared and it was just me and WoW, I was like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I, this is not why I was having fun. This is not why I was enjoying myself. Yeah. Like, you know, I said, I think the last time I logged in, I said hi in guild chat and like, Nobody said anything for 10 minutes and then somebody said ding and nobody replied to them. And I was just like, you know what? I think, yeah, dude. Like, I, think, I think that's about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, this I is, this that. is no longer an MMO. It's just, <laughs> it's yeah. just me leveling by myself. That's right. And that's what a I lot like of that. MMOs are these days, unfortunately. Yeah. 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 yeah absolutely. Right. I like that, that, right. that our choices are, are nine different games. That was, that's really cool. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, for sure. Um, no, there was just no community just, vote, by the way, yep, for this. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No community vote because it's top three games it streamed. Sense. It's kind of a unique experience to, to stream a game. Yeah. Would have been hard to vote for. I think the final would have been Baldur's Gate three. It would have just been BG three. <laughs> yeah, right. uh, Baldur's Gate three one's top three game stream. It's time for our top ten games of the year. Now we got forty five minutes, boys. We got forty five minutes. Leave. Yeah, we did. Uh, I think previous years we did ten to four, and then we did top three one at a time, showing the whole line. We all in agreement to do that again. Sure. Great. Who wants to do their first? Oh, 10 do we, we go one by one though? Like up yeah, to yeah, four. yeah. We'll do ten to okay, four, okay. one by one for each individual. Okay, um, cool. Yeah, yeah. So Zeke, let's start Ooh. with you. Real, real quick. Okay, so sorry. Sorry. before we start, ahead. real quick. Next year, when we do top three games streamed, the viewers should vote on the top three games they like to watch the most. Just on Twitch as a whole. On Twitch, what were okay. what were the community's favorite games? To Jot watch it down, chat. Game? That's a great idea. Great that idea. was from chat. Okay. Thank you, chat. chat that was, let that, us that know exactly idea. 11 yep. months from now to, re, to do that, to do that. Just on yep. Twitch as a whole, not for on Twitch our, as a whole. Does it, our does three. It even, even, doesn't even have to be games that any of us played. Yeah, just in general. Yep. Just whatever they, whatever they liked watching on Twitch. Exactly, exactly. I'm going to do a separate one for just my channel to see what they think about my game stream. Sure. Anyway, <laughs> no, no one watches your channel. I know. Oh God, why? <laughs> this is the your top only exposure 10. I get is on the show. Why do you think I get so upset when everybody? We got forty-five minutes. <laughs> okay, <no. laughs> All right, my number ten game. Uh, making this list obviously hard every year. I just want to show. Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna show like uh, like an up close, but like this is. <laughs> Are we oh, playing, playing, are we playing them off? <laughs> this is the Damn. games that I thought, like, this is my written down list of games that I thought had merit. Uh, merit enough to be considered, at least. And I played 364 games this year. Holy um, just, shit, okay. Yeah, wow. a lot. I played a lot of games. Yeah. Um, I mean, for varying times, from 15 minutes to two hours to, like, you know, long, longer than that. But, yeah. paired it down to 10, and my number 10 is an Ooh. FMV game that I never heard of before that. A Breakout 13. Uh, Breakout 13 is a, uh, just read it, is a thrilling narrative game with interactive cinematic experience based on true stories. Um, it's, uh, it, it's, it's a very well done full motion video game, which is saying something because a lot of times, almost all the time they're fun, but not all the time. In fact, most of the time they're not really well done, well written, well acted, anything like that. This one had all of that, dude. Breakout 13 had all of that. It was it was well written. The story was good. It was well acted, well shot. The whole thing. Um, it uh, took me about about eleven hours to complete. And uh, there are it's there's branching storylines. It's about a uh, a school for uh, um, troubled youth. They, they you send them to this school to like teach them manners or discipline or whatever, and it ends up there's it ends up being like a nefarious underline to it. And it just it was really well done. It wasn't. It's not in English um it is yeah simplified chinese so it's it's in uh in a different language but even with the subtitles man it was fucking fantastic okay nice uh number nine didn't make it all the, the like that far up the list but it still made the list okay Helen wake two um okay i that we makes talked sense. about this yeah, given given what we heard from you yeah that makes sense we've talked about this i had problems with it uh i had like you know this, this, the, some of the shit didn't jibe with me. Sure. Um, however, it's still deserving of being on the top 10 games of the year for me because it what it does, it well, it does fucking superbly. Um, we've talked to Blue in the Face. Just, just know, like, I had my problems with it. That's why it's not higher on the list that other people didn't have. So there it is. Alan Wake 2 is number nine. Number eight. Another weird game that came out of nowhere. I love streaming it. I loved playing it. I always love your top 10 lists. <laughs> Contra Band Police. Oh, oh nice. Dude. Yeah, you guys man. both ran, okay. uh, fucking, ranted I, and raved. Yeah. You guys what a it. sleeper hit, man. That I did not see this one coming. And I just had so much fun playing it and streaming it. Just, you know, jumping into the role of like this, you know, this fake border patrol like guy who's like 
searching your vehicle for drugs and stuff like that and and you know making a making a like a big rp deal of of what you were doing and shit like that it's like papers please but the papers please that i wanted <laughs> it's got some goofiness it's got some weirdness um but it's it's like i did not think i was gonna like it as much as i did and i ended up just fucking loving it and playing it with chat just made it all that much better i really i really enjoyed it um okay number seven uh darkest dungeon two it's not as good as the first one but it would be fucking hard to make it because first that first one hundreds of hours in um this one i only think i got like 80 hours in or something like that uh it fully released in 2023 i looked it up um, yeah i was just googling <laughs> that a lot of these games yeah. i'm like wait a minute that came out this year. <laughs> yeah, 1.0 came out in 2023 um but it was in early access in 2020 i think uh so it's been around for there you go it's been around for a while but 1.0 so that's why it made the list this year cool it's a completely different set of mechanics uh, or not completely different uh the whole game but like the way you travel around the way you like uh there's there's not the town you you know put resources in set up there's a whole different thing and i didn't mind that uh the combat it like was very difficult until you like figure out some things and i just love that i love the 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 satisfaction of going i'm gonna come back to this fucking boss and beat it and doing it because you have a different like i know what to do now and you're like i got your fucking weaknesses and it just it, <laughs> beating that game was super satisfying and i don't beat a lot of games um next one this one is one of those games as art that just mm. it's relatively short but it fucking blew me away and i love i love like uh, um what was it? the game from a couple years ago that was uh, uh the perspective like you would bring it close to make you, it really you big. Find um no no that's this no, game that's this game <laughs> yeah oh. that's yeah. Uh, i know what you're uh, talking um, about but i can't oh, i know what you mean too super liminal. Yeah. super liminal there you go yeah yes Ooh. Super, I think Super Liminal made my top ten of the year. It was released. It did, yeah. So Viewfinder I, gave me a similar feeling. I just absolutely loved the the picture, like you know, and and how much you could like. It wasn't just a set thing, you know. You could set it perfectly, but you don't have to. You could set it like this and just like, oh, it's off center, but it's okay because I can jump over there and do this. So it wasn't like perfect, but it was workable. The only complaint that I had about it is the the very last level if you played it to the to the end i wish there was more levels like the very last level that was super fun and challenging um i hope they add more like that or add more to the game like make a make a uh, another viewfinder 2 with just more <laughs> um but yeah just 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 admiring how it how it played out and you know the mechanics of it just blew me away it was great uh my number five game I, I found this game because of Indie Day, and I ended up playing it, and it's one of those games, JP said something similar to this earlier, one of those games that, or maybe it was Co, but simple does not, like simple but done perfectly is, makes a very fun game. This game is simple, it's got, it, it doesn't bring any new ideas, but what it does, does well. Blood West is my number five choice. Uh, Co, I think you played this recently, didn't you? I did. Yeah, uh, I played it for a little bit on any day, and then I I'm still like finishing it. I'm not done with it yet, but it's it's my go to like end of the day. Like it is a a uh, res down pixel pixel e kind of a version of of like it's like old west dishonored because it's mm -hmm. a lot of sneaking, a lot of backstabbing, and that kind of stuff. Or I mean, you don't have to play it like that. Just like dishonored, you don't have to sneak, but it's really fun because it rewards you for like sneaking around and doing this shit. But not only that, the level design rewards exploration, which I cannot stress enough. If you're going to make a little cave that I find, put something there. Too many games don't do it. <laughs> Too many games like you go behind this little thing and it's just like, there's nothing fucking rewarding about it. No, if, like, if you put a waterfall in a game and you don't yeah. put a treasure behind it, I feel you should have a red letter put on your chest and you should be marched out of game dev. Agreed. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. agreed. Yeah. Um, but it's it's simple, it's effective, it's an FPS. Um, 
and it's it it, it also has a, a style that I, I con confessedly I enjoy. I like the old West. Like he was a he was a gunslinger when he was alive, and they brought him back from the grave. And I'm like I'm hearing Johnny Cash in the background. Like like I love that that whole genre. Um, <laughs> my number four game to wrap it up. All is right. a game that I think I might have put the most hours in of all the year, the entire year. Really? War Tales. Oh, <laughs> hey, you did play go. a lot of that game, yeah. Game's I awesome. played it yep. out. I played all of it. And I was like looking it up. Is there a Oh, there's no 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 final thing. No 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 credits roll. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I'm done then <laughs> cuz I did all the things I could do which Granted, it took a very long time, and it's a turn-based, like, uh, um, uh, high fantasy XCOM style, like grid-based, turn-based battle. So I take painfully long setting up. Like, the battles lasted less time than it took because they, they give you a chance to set up before the battle. So setting up the battle took longer than the battle a lot of times. Because I'm like, okay, you got to place your pieces, place your guys here, place your thing there. And uh, I just, I loved it. And I just, I played like literally hundreds of hours of it. I think at last count, let's see. Yeah, 200, I think at last count. War Tales. It says 309 hours. Holy shit, you've added some hours. Yeah, because we talked about yeah. it on the show and it was over two at that point. So, yeah. yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's well, crazy. There it is, my top or my, my bottom seven. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, sorry, I was, <laughs> that took me way too long to do that math to see yeah. if you were correct. <laughs> Uh, let me just move forward. Uh, <laughs> I'll do my top 10 and then we'll have uh, Co do his top seven as Zeke so uh, expertly devised in his head very quickly. Uh, <laughs> my number 10, we talked about it on this show when I played it. I bounced off of the, the game on stream um, and then I don't know what was happening around the time that I started playing it offline. Um, but I purely played it for the gameplay. I have no idea to this day what the fuck happened story-wise in this game. It's Octopath Traveler 2. Uh, <laughs> I put okay. like 45 hours into it just playing the game and having a blast. It's got like everything I want from it in a JRPG uh, from a gameplay perspective, hidden classes, super weapons, fantastic uh, things. And when it comes to the combat, I love the different characters in it. Story-wise, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Might have been the best narrative, <laughs> who knows? Uh, people really enjoyed the narrative from everyone else uh, that, that talked about it, but uh, I skipped it all. <laughs> because I just wanted to do more of the combat and see more of the super fights. Uh, and I had a blast with it, so yeah. That's my number 10. My number nine is a game I don't know if the two of you have even played, which is rare for my list, I think. Um, and I had to, there's a lot of different permutations of this game as well. So I, I went with the permutation that I played the most. For a lot of people, you would just call it the Suica game. I played my Suica watermelon game on Steam pretty much every night for the past three months. And I just kind of like zone the fuck out. And I that's I watch One Piece and play this game and I don't think it all about it. Uh, it's great. Now, it's a very simple it's, it's, game. It's the uh, drop a thing on a thing. If it's the same, it combines to make a bigger thing. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like th I think it's threes is what most people would say. It's like so I I've always known of it as Suica game. It's what just Suica, Suica game. Watermelon? My Suica watermelon game is the Steam ripoff, I guess. The the OG is a oh is a Switch game, I think. Um, and the My Suica watermelon game actually has like verses in it, so you can like play against other people. There's there like I said, there's a ton of permutations on it. Um, yeah. Oh, like, Suica means watermelon in Japanese. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't know that. I, I played a I played a wizard style yeah. game of this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But man, it is just it's the great turn your brain off. Uh, the greatest turn your brain off, and uh, and think. So yeah, 
Uh, 10 and 9 were probably the least expected, I think, on my list. We can kind of get back to the norm here. Uh, number <laughs> 8, for me, not a shocker. It was my most anticipated last year. And in a lot of ways, I will say, I don't want, eh, I guess it missed the mark a little bit, but it was still a fantastic game, and I enjoyed playing it all the way through to the end. It was Final Fantasy 16. I'm waiting for the DLC, uh, the second DLC to drop. Um, absolutely enjoyed the hell out of that. And uh, I really, I think the demo, if you haven't played that uh, demo of it, really sells that game. It does a fantastic job, uh, maybe even more so than the main game, because it does kind of drop off at some points uh, and, and become a little bit... It's a whole conversation. I don't want to get into the, is it Final Fantasy or not? Let's just move forward. Let's move forward to number seven. <laughs> number seven for me, once again, lines up with my interest. It's Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Yes, I know there are wild technical issues with the game still today. And at launch, it was especially bad. Luckily, I had uh, strong. I had good enough equipment to most of the time uh, beat those issues down. But man, it does have. I'm going to tell you, if you had just, just a step lower than the best equipment. It sucked. It it was not good or playable. Even like, it, it, like I played it for a few hours. I'm like, I just can't anymore. I just can't. Yeah. No, look, I, I know it's a hard pick. It, if I, and it, even then with like the literal best equipment, it still struggled. Like there oh, were still, still, there still micro stutters, even <laughs> yeah. in the best situation. Yeah. yeah. You never got it working perfectly. Yeah. Uh, and, and I think I too had to, I wrestled with that game yeah. so much, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, st I still think today, all of those issues in some form exist. Um, that being said, from a story perspective, I can't wait to see where they go for future games. If there are future games, it seems like there's going to be, given the ending of that. Um, but yeah, I had a blast with it. I think that is, you know, uh, I love a Star Wars thing. It's just an IP. Um, and I think it's one of the best um, running series right now from a game perspective. Very curious to see how Ubisoft's uh, Star Wars goes this year. That almost was my Stur most... Star Wars? Yeah, was almost one of my Stewards. most anticipated. We'll see how that goes. Number six for me, talked about it multiple times already on the broadcast, came out of actually nowhere. It was released and announced in the same day. And I absolutely loved Hi-Fi Rush. I talked about it on this very show. Uh, just ranted and raved about it go back to that game i constantly think about it uh in terms of what they did and all the different moments from it that i enjoyed and all the different goofs and laughs and hope they make more i, I hope that game did well enough so we can see a hi-fi rush too um and, and get to see where those characters go um because it was just a an absolute delight to play uh number five for me once again aligning with my interest we've got star wars we've got final fantasy and now we have marvel <laughs> it's spider-man too uh, i absolutely that's love marvel it. baby yeah i loved everything they did with this um i guess it's spoilers to say what i was about to say there are things that you can do in this game that i did not expect to be able to do and i had an absolute blast when they basically handed you the controller and said now you can do this and that was great um, I love the story in it. I had a blast with it. I love that they're pulling in a bunch of like niche, I guess, maybe uh, untold Spider-Man uh, stories outside of the comics. Uh, and so the fact that we got a bunch of that in this game, plus a little bit of a twist on a lot of kind of the generic Spider-Man formulas was an absolute blast to play. Uh, and for my interest, like one of the best looking games, just like talking about raw graphics and how it performs and everything. Uh, out there so that's number five number four for me was one of those games where i think if i would have finished it it probably would have been a lot higher but like i said i only put 50 hours into it it's the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom i and only put 50 i hours. only put 50 hours and sadly <laughs> that's not enough time uh to complete wow how big that game is um yeah i i think tears of the kingdom is a uh, fantastic game it is one of those things i will eventually go back to whether it's in 4k 60 or whether it's in 1080p well 720p 30 <laughs> we'll have to see i hope that uh, nintendo does something with that moving forward and uh, hardware limitations are not a part of the conversation anymore 
That's my top seven. Co, let's go with yours. What do you got? Okay. So starting at the bottom, uh, funny enough, I, I feel very similar in the ways that, that you do about this one, where there's there was clearly a lot of good stuff in there, and I actually really enjoyed my time with it, but man, so many unfortunate, unnecessary tech issues. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor was my 10th. I, I feel like this could have been much higher up the list, but oh, it was tough. And I was one of the people that had a top end system and still, still was having issues. Um, also, I had these super fun issues where um, I would see it fine, but the stream wouldn't. So like I Whoa. would see it at like, like 90, between 60 and 90 FPS, but the stream would, people would be like, oh, is this like 20 or 30 FPS? It was like this strange issue with, with the, with the uh, mirroring of the monitor output. It was a mess. So yeah, anyway. Wow. Um, Game was fun though. I enjoyed the game. I I liked the Star Wars Jedi franchise, and it was more of that, and I I liked it. So that was that was my tenth. That was my tenth. Awesome. Um, moving up, uh, I I have to agree with my buddy Zeke here. Uh, in the darkest dungeon too, but I will respectfully disagree with him. Oh. In saying that I I actually feel it's much better than one. I I enjoy Darkest Dungeon two better than Darkest Dungeon one because I, I, I had more fun in it because I felt less stress in it. It was still a super stressful game. It was still a game that made you rage, but at the same time, if you had a bad run, it wasn't like the end of your playthrough. And sometimes a playthrough of that game could be like 40, 50 plus hours. So I always really didn't, in, in Baldur's in his Darkest Dungeon 1, I always got to a point in it where I didn't want to really do any more farming, but I was also too scared to take my A team in somewhere it would die, <laughs> so I would just stop playing. Yeah. Um, never felt that with two. I loved the roguelite spin on it. Um overall I think it was just it was so cool to see the devs jump out of their comfort zone. They easily could have just remade DD1 and and the fans would have loved it and it would have been fine. But they said, nay, we're going to try something new. We're going to, in fact, in many ways, change the gameplay loop and 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 innovate and they did and it didn't work for everyone but it absolutely worked for me so i thought that was was great and uh yeah more power to red hook because that was a great decision awesome. i loved it next up for me now wait a second i'm a little confused by this i thought this would be on one of y'all's list um did resident evil 4 remake come out this year it did yeah. And I did not okay. play it, so it was not on my list. Yeah, that's definitely my eighth. I, <laughs> I had a great time with that game. I thought I felt You're good. not alone. Um, right? yeah. I enjoyed it. I thought it was really cool. I mean, I was a little surprised I didn't see that anywhere else, but I thought Resident Evil 4 Remake was great. Um, I, I enjoyed my playthrough beginning to end. I even did, like, the, you know, get max score and all the shooting galley. Like, it was, it, was, it was a lot of fun. I had a really good time in that game, and uh, I really enjoyed it. It was, I have no problems with companies remaking games of cash cow franchises if they continue to be of that quality and and that level i think that's fantastic yeah. so i i that had a great true. time with it and i thought it deserved a place on the list for sure yeah moving up the list big stompy robots man armor core 6 was so much fun i love that we got a new armored core game i had a, again a great time in it um the, the it was so cool specking out the mechs and finding out what worked and what didn't and and the whole the whole jive was cool i did really wish in that game there was a bit more of like a cogent main story but at the same vein that's not really what ac6 is known for so you know that was just something i would have liked to see but didn't really expect uh but overall i had a great time with it i thought ac6 was awesome I thought it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. And I'm looking, I'm, I'm thrilled that this franchise is back and I hope we continue to see it develop and, and you know, become something even cooler uh, as it goes forward. Uh, moving up to six. I don't even like it in real life. Not even <laughs> it. I'm not a game co. But damn if I didn't love serving sushi and Dave the Diver. Oh. I love the whole thing. I love, I, I'm, I, I had such a good time in Dave the Diver. Like it, those, those streams were some of the most chill that I've done. It's an entire game based around like aggressive visceral melee fishing, which I'm totally down with. Um, I feel we need more melee fishing games. Um, but yeah, man, Dave the Diver was, was just such a breath of fresh air. Um, which is so important when you're underwater for those 
talked about sometimes. But it was it was a great game, and uh, I really loved it, and it was great. I thought that was going to be higher, uh, to be honest. Dave the Diver? Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it. you know, I got some bangers in the top we'll five. See, yeah, well, I'm, I'm curious to see what um, else we got here. <laughs> but I think yeah, I know, but yeah. That was, that was there. That was there. My next game, I loved this game. I was in this game. I had a great time with it. I played it when it was an alpha. I had a phenomenal time with it. I couldn't wait for the release. The release came out. I played it into the ground. I had such a good time with Everspace 2. Unfortunately, it went under the radar for most people, I would say. Uh, but for me, man, I mean, this, this game was everything I wanted from like an open world space RPG. I cannot recommend the game enough to people that love space RPG style games. Uh, it is a huge game. There's lots to do, lots to see different ship types, upgrade pass, uh, nearly fully voice acted, I think almost. It's just it's just a really, really solid game. And uh, and I definitely recommend it to people that like that kind of thing. I feel like, uh, again, it wasn't really big on Twitch at all. And yeah. I feel like it really kind of went under the radar in a lot of ways. But yeah, man, Everspace 2, it's it's a banger and I love it. Yeah. That was a 2021. No, I, I think it released. That it was released. early access. Yeah, this was 1.0. Yeah, it released release this year. Absolutely, it released this year. So, and again, if you've never heard of Everspace 2, go check it out. It's it's great. It's great. I think you made a so, poor marketing choice by not making it number one, Co. Just from a oh, yeah. business standpoint. <laughs> next time. <laughs> next time. Oh. oh, that's right. You're probably in the next four. You probably have a cameo in the next four. Because you certainly deserve it. <laughs> thank, thank you. I, thank you so much. I do. I do. Uh, thank you. That's <sighs> really nice of you to say. <laughs> Number four. Zeke, you're, you're, you are also in as many games as you deserve to be in. Uh, so number four oh! is um, is <laughs> number four is a game that I absolutely love. For the record, Zeke is in games, just for the record. He, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> he, he does have roles. Um, so number four is a game that, again, I'm pretty sure we're going to see higher on your lists. But, I mean, I got nothing to say except the, the three beautiful words. Right? Liza P, man. Liza P is my fourth um game's phenomenal blew me away uh, an, a great example of just a phenomenally well-made game anchored both mechanically and in, in style and vibe and it is it was a, a fantastic experience cannot wait to see more from this dev and uh the little tastes we've gotten of that are, sound delicious and that is my bottom seven all right call it. so uh, my butt seven there we go i think we have a good idea of what is in the top three for me and Co. and definitely Zeke, at least one of them. Mm -hmm. Probably. I think we do these show together, each line, and then the variable one we'll talk about. Because <laughs> I think there right, are some expectants right here. Like we, People have a good idea of what to expect here. So number three, we're going to reveal it all at the same time if this button works. Okay, so three different games. I expected Rogue Trader, Baldur's Gate, and Liza P. I think those are all, yeah. I don't think anyone's shocked, right? No one's surprised? I, I mean, no, I, I didn't know Rogue Trader would, would be that high on your list, but I just I, I Honestly, don't know much about it. Yeah. If, it. if it didn't have some rather glaring issues, it probably would have been higher. Yeah. Um, but un unfortunately, the, uh, the, there, there's some design decisions i have issues with um not only in terms of mechanically but also as you get towards the end of the game um and then it's buggy yeah it's i mean it, it didn't release in the best state there's there's been a lot of issues they're working through now but overall it's very similar to to survivor though jedi survivor it's a fantastic game underneath all that for clarification is it as buggy as the developers other releases or did they actually improve on their launch kingmaker was terrible at launch one. yeah at launch but they ended up fixing it over time except on consoles wrath the righteous was significantly better but did have some issues and they then spent the time to make it amazing over time uh rogue trader i would say is similar to wrath of the righteous okay where it is a lot better than their first one but there are still a lot of little bugs and unfortunately a couple like relatively major like game breaking bugs so it's, I would not say it's a huge step forward in terms of quality assurance, but I also uh, know that Games Workshop was very interested in getting this game out as fast as possible. <laughs> and they're a very big, you know, yeah, they're they... a big part of that game. So 
you know, I, I give them a little, I'm, I'm, I give them a little bit of slack in that regard, but, um, no, over, I mean, it's totally playable. They're, they're patching okay. the hell out of it. There was a huge patch a few days ago, but it does, it does even now still have some issues. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Zeke. um, yes. And by the way, me putting Baldur's Gate three means I hate the game. Yeah. yeah well, that's what right. I was about to ask you. <laughs> Do you hate Baldur's Gate three? <laughs> I, I absolutely hated it. Uh, no, uh, just to tell you why, like Baldur's Gate three didn't make like make it up higher on the list it's number three for shit's sake i mean that's saying something for someone who played 364 games this year but um the reason why i didn't make it higher is well first of all i haven't finished it oh really um, i didn't i thought you no. had okay no no and uh second the, and the reason why i haven't finished it is because i got to a certain like i got as far as i did and then I took a vacation. Like I went to like oh, I think. that's the worst. And then you come back and you and you and you think about getting back into a game like Baldur's Gate three. Your rhythm is fucked. Yeah, like you had oh, yeah, this completely. whole thing going, and you're just like, oh. And I just I haven't picked it back up again because you need it's like exercising. Dude, you know, it's like I'm not you got to get in the I'm right mindset. Kidding. Just start a new playthrough. <laughs> I, yeah, I know. I want... That's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for the 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 spark to go. Time for a new playthrough. Yeah. I I but, want to play a different game than Rogue Trader right now and let it keep cooking. But exactly what you just said, I, if I walk if away from this, fall group, off, let, alone a, let alone a few days a week, like I'm done. I'm not going to remember. Yeah. yeah. So I completely get it. Yep. Completely get it. Yep. yep. But, get and it. the thing is about like starting a new character is I like the character I have. I want to keep playing this one. Like <laughs> I like the, 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 I, I play a bard is the character I chose. Hell and I yeah. love the choice. I loved yep. like the interactions and all that kind of stuff. And you know, it's just like, okay, I need a fucking recap of what I've done so far. <laughs> so the, the choices that I made previously will have, you know, I'll remember them later and go, Oh, that's why that person hates we, me. We whatever. need, we need the every 30 minutes, a button needs to pop up that lets you get a telltale style sum up of everything Dude, to that point. It's so <laughs> yeah. previously on your last Baldur's Gate three session. <laughs> As someone who's watched 465 episodes of One Piece, let me tell you, that first six minutes of every episode where they recap literally everything that's happened, it's fucking godsend. You know, more games need that yeah. shit. Because I, I tune in after two weeks, I'm like, what the fuck was going on? Oh, here's a full recap. We're good to go. Yeah. Great. It's great. More games no, need that. And, uh, Ar Ar Arcadius Ragnall from my, ch my channel was like, check your journal. I'm like, you want me to fucking read? Yeah, no, Are fuck you that. Kidding? No, fuck, fuck that. No, like come on, like man. We got the time for that. Yeah, we don't got time for that shit. We let's got do, time for reading. Let's do number come two on, man. across come the board. On. Kind yeah. of, again, it's it just comes down to where will they be placed here? I think for everyone, I don't think yep. we're getting any shockers. Okay, Alan Wake, Alan Wake, Liza P. I don't, I don't think anything needs to be said. Now, I don't actually know. Co, feel free to weigh in. I don't know what Zeke's number one is. Do you think it's... I Okay, I have a guess. I'm trying okay. to think, were there any fart-centric games this year? I don't think so. <laughs> I'll never tell! <laughs> I'm going to hit show. I I think it is what it is, but I'm not going to say it until we reveal it. So here's the reveal. Or are we not going to talk about number two? We're just going to let it go. Well, we I think I think we can talk think, about it I'm all. Out. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to hit reveal. Go. Oh. That is not what I was yeah. expecting. Okay, I was going to go I, with Yakuza. I had a hint there. Okay, I had a hint. Yeah, yeah he's you, been he's been talking a lot about that game. Yeah, Alice <laughs> Principle so that, too. Yeah. yeah. It's and that's oh, its favorite. Oh, its favorite games like there we go. It was, <laughs> it was the standout. The, the standout game for me because, it, it. It's one of those one of those games that come along every once in a while that that really like affect you, and make you think about shit. Sure. I I relish those moments. Those 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 precious few moments, where, you feel uh. uh like, like you feel like a philosopher a little bit, you know, like how you, how I would imagine a philosopher feels and they, they go in depth about like, I just love that shit. And it was so it's, it's very well written. The puzzles are fucking fun. And I played through uh, Talos one recently 
uh, because I never played it. I played uh, like maybe an hour of Talos one before I before I finished Talos two, and I went back and played it, and they made vast improvements, and they they sort of can, they continue the story, but like I said before, it's it's those great questions, and they bring it up in such a such a good way of what it means to be human and what it means to uh, uh, the relationship of your fellow human. And they bring up all these, these philosophical things and they do it in such a way that doesn't feel, I don't feel like I'm being talked down to or, you know, given the baby version of it. Like I'm given like some, some, I had to look up some fucking words. I'm not gonna lie, I look up some people. I had to like, who the fuck is this guy? Okay, he's a 12th century philosopher that doesn't go, um, uh, you know, and it's just that that mixed with uh, it has things uh, like mechanical game things that I love as well. Great puzzle design, quick fucking movement. When you when oh, you're yeah, moving you, around the map, you're right. you fucking move so fast, and that is so overlooked. And it's such a a boon for me. Like it's something I talk about all the time. Like fast fucking movement. I just played Morrowind on CD-ROM. And I was just like, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Everything is so slow. Yeah. But it has that. It, it, but it also has, like, a, a great telling of a, of, a, of, a, of a big idea in a story. And that's why it was my, my favorite writing as well. I just loved it. I absolutely loved it. Nice. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah I mean, for me, Alan Wake, we've talked about it ad nauseum. I mean, we, I, I feel like you can go back and look at our spoiler cast. Uh, if you've played the game, uh, to hear me and, and Co. rant and rave about it, and Jesse Cox rant and rave about it. And then, like, Baldur's Gate 3, I uh, Skill Up recently said, I don't know if I'll ever review Baldur's Gate 3 because I don't know if there's anything I can add to the discourse. I kind of echo that statement. What hasn't been said about that game, it's, for me, it's like a one of the greatest games of all time. I, it's not hyperbolic to say that. Like, for me, it is one of the greatest games of all time. I remember constantly making clips of that every day, kind of updating my thoughts. I went back and rewatched them and I I was trying to make sure I didn't get caught up in the like hype of what this game is uh, in the industry. And I didn't, I, I expected everything <laughs> that I said then and it matched up now. Uh, and it, it really is just like one of the greatest games I've ever played from start to finish, even with the issues that it has. It's for me, one of the greatest games. It, it's I, I can't agree more with your sentiment and your choice and all that shit. It it's it's the what does my heart say? That's what goes on the list, not what my mind says. My mind knows that Baldur's Gate three, Alan Wake, several other choices are better games. Down a list of like, you know, like uh, like uh, scientifically listed things. Those are better games. Sure. What my heart says, that's what I like better. And I and Baldur's Gate was fucking excellent. Yeah, I gotta I gotta say this, um, it's it's been so wild ever since August came around to see this happen. Like, I I f it, for the, like one of the first times in my ten years streaming, what I would pick for a game of the year, which is almost always my little big deep niche thing niche rpg yeah is now what everyone is calling their game of the year as well and that is i it, you know this game is something special when when that when that happens i mean this Baldur's Gate 3 has has literally in no small terms introduced a genre to millions of people that didn't know it existed and more importantly didn't know it was for them and that is that is a magical special amazing thing um it's just yeah it's 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 incredible i mean i definitely feel at this point you know we're we're, we're one of the last game of the year shows it's clear that Baldur's Gate 3 sweeped everything but i still the i didn't BAFTAs for a second... actually have us beat <laughs> oh the baftas are like in march or some stupid shit <laughs> wow but i i will say for me like for me personally i can't think of any other game that i would have put firmly in the top position uh, and I would have done that regardless if it had had the reception that it did. Because, um, you know, these are the games that I I play for. I, I love these types of games. CRPGs are my bread and butter. So 
yeah, it's just, it's been wild, man. It's been so wild and so awesome to see the whole thing. Absolutely. <clears throat> One of the, the other cool things to, uh, <laughs> to bring the Zoomer audience in, the TikTok audience, so many people on, on TikTok were like, what the fuck is Baldur's Gate 3? Like when it won Game of the Year at, at Game Awards, uh, they were like, why the fuck? Like, there's no fucking way this is better than Spider-Man. There's no fucking way this is better than whatever game they want to put in there. A lot of those people started playthroughs of the game and now those TikToks are just like, this game's fucking insane. Like, I I just went and talked to this spider. And now since I talked to this spider, he's going to attack the goblins. And now I can go kill this goblin person because I talked to the spider. <laughs> what the fuck? How do you think of this shit? Like, it's, it's been it's so much fun just to watch people's opinion change after playing the game for exactly what Ko was saying. A game they would never play in the first place. Exactly. Um, yeah. It's been awesome. It's been awesome. So that's our top 10 games of the year. We need to see what the community voted on. And then we have our aggregate score that uh, Barry already did for us. So shout you out got five minutes. That. Yeah. We can get through these quick. Let's see it. We got Armored Core number Woo! 10. Nice. We got Hogwarts Legacy at number nine. We got yeah. Dave the Diver yeah. number eight. Really? Starfield coming in at number 10. You know, there are a lot of shout out okay, to the closeted is. Starfield fans. You and Shroud are, are, you really like that game. <laughs> That's how I feel about that. All right, man. Uh, uh, number everybody who, this, this game is for people who aren't loud in a crowd. Because <laughs> everybody in your chat, everybody in every chat, what the fuck? And it's like the masses are like, I like it. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> More power to you. More power to you. Six was Spider-Man. Two. Uh, five was Lies of P. Beautiful. Four was Final Fantasy 16. That ranked pretty high. Uh, number three, Legend of Zelda. Also ranked pretty high, I would say, given our communities. Alan Wake 2 at number two. And, and Shocker. Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate 3 at number one. Uh, just for the numbers, uh, Baldur's Gate 1. Uh, three. four thousand or sorry Baldur's Gate three four thousand at number one four thousand votes the second wow. highest voted game was 500 votes <laughs> so that's how dominating uh, Baldur's Gate whoa. Three was. okay yeah, it dominated it dominated Jeez. There. yeah yeah absolutely crushed it that's like 50 times more yeah yeah let's some uh, other number al let's almost a hundred almost a hundred. Uh, these are our aggregate scores. Let me just go down the list. War Tales coming in at 10. Thanks to Zeke's high ranking of that. Dave the Diver coming in at number nine. Rogue Trader, thanks to Co, coming in at number eight. Talos Principal, number seven. Thanks to Zeke there. Final Fantasy 16. Was that only on my list? Yep. I think so. Okay. Barry, we'll have to see these uh, aggregate scores. I don't know why how mine ranked higher i guess just because it was higher wait ranked. a second but warhammer was only on my list yeah yours and, and was yours higher was than third final fantasy was on your list yeah barry! Did we get more points based did on we trust barry to math this show hey barry look at the uh, tears of the kingdom right there barry <laughs> oh is it is it pulling from the audience as well oh maybe this is the audience vote as well it might be Liza P number two. Baldur's this is K1. just Barry just made a list that he he just wanted to be a part of this. Barry, explain yourself. List. Yep. Oh, this <laughs> was did. all four. Yeah. This was all four. That's oh, why. All four. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He uh, just did. He did. He had like one of those like Shakespeare magnets, and he just went eh, threw around the fridge. It was like, okay, that's where there it is. Yeah. This was. Uh, this is actually just Barry's list. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. I think that's it. I think this is the end of the thing. Yeah, that's it. Awesome. We did it. With three minutes for shout outs to spare. Perfect. Love to see it. Love to see it. Uh, we'll tweet out. Don't start the intro. That hasn't happened in a while. No, um, and oh, real quick, I just want to say, like, like seeing Liza P get so high on our list made us, like, I don't know if you joined me in how, how just, like, it didn't wasn't on the game of the year uh nominees yeah like i was pissed that i got i felt it got snubbed i agree like just it, it might have been like number five but it should have been fucking on there man yeah 
Yeah, I agree. If uh, if we just won R3, Baldur's Gate was one, Lies of P, two, Alan Wake, three, Talos Principle, four, Warhammer, uh, Rogue Trader was five, Zelda was seven, War Tales, uh, or sorry, Zelda was six, War Tales was seven, Spider Man was eight, Everspace two was nine, and Darkest Dungeon was ten. So that's just for the three of us. Uh, in most anticipated for community, which I think we showed, but just in case we didn't, that was Final Fantasy VII Rebirth with fourteen uh, percent of the vote. Yep. So we did show that. Yep. Cool. Cool. All I thought right. It was going to be yours. I didn't think it was going to be seventeen. We should talk about that next week when we do our okay. 2024 <laughs> preview uh, okay. episode. Uh, and I'll tell you just why. I'm, I am excited for it, but uh, it's not my most anticipated. We'll, we'll discuss why next week. Uh, oh, okay. We will be doing that show. There, there's we'll a talk. story. Oh, I can't wait. Well, it's more of an explanation, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's it. That's the Game of the Year show. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, too, for joining us. We got to do some shout outs. Barry, also thank you as well as the mod uh, team for getting all that stuff uh, situated. It was a fairly painless process. Uh, Thank you, guys. That was process, great. Uh, this year. So shout out to you. Let's do our own shout outs. Zeke, what do you got going on? Let the people know. Yo, everybody. Thank you guys for watching and uh, being here. Uh, thank you, Co. JP, for being wonderful and a diverse uh, opinions about video games. I like having this back and forth with you guys we're not all just the same and that's nice our differences are what bring us together are to be celebrated that's what i want to go into 2024 saying uh <laughs> anyways <laughs> sorry i had to make i had to come back to me uh i am doing a role-playing show blade runner role-playing on uh, twitch.tv slash table story if you like tabletop role-playing games it is actually really fantastic I'm, I'm i'm very proud of this show and if you want to check it out please do i will be on there immediately after this is over. Uh, if you want to check me out anywhere else, Ezekiel underscore II on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Uh, Ezekiel the third, all spelled out on Instagram and TikTok. I broadcast at this the 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern uh, every day except Monday. And uh, I'm in the middle of cd rom -a So I'm playing nothing but CD-ROM games the entire month of January. Next up, your pick voted on. And uh, it's, it's between two games right now. It's between uh, Alone in the Dark 3, and uh, one other one, and <laughs> uh, the longest journey—that's what it was. Lauren Dark Three and Longest Journey are the two that are going back and forth. So Tuesday will be one of those games, probably. See you then. Awesome stuff, Co. Do some shoutouts. What do you got going on? Absolutely. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Co. Hope you enjoyed the show. Big thanks as always to JP and Zeke. This was a lot of fun, and I and I echo in all seriousness what Zeke said. I, I love that our lists are so diverse. We come from three different kind of sections of Twitch, and it's uh. It's always fun to do this. So hope to see you guys next year if I don't see you before then. But yeah, for me, we're finishing up Dragon's Dogma. We're finishing up Rogue Trader. Probably going to do some more finals. Maybe do some more finals tonight. Do a little drinking hangout stream as we have been. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, we also have uh, Like a Dragon coming up later this month, which is going to be great. And a couple other indie games and stuff that are coming out soon as well, which should be cool. Also, Kovatars, our new channel system goes live on the 1st. We have moderator apps open if you're interested in being a mod of my channel. You can check that out in the mod up command as well. And on that note, thank you all for being here. Happy New Year. Hope you had a safe and good one. And uh, see you next week for our upcoming in 2024 show. Yeah, should be fun. Looking oh, yeah. forward to it. Hi, hello. If you want to watch a grown man cry, feel free to come over to the stream because I'm fighting Fatalis on hour, I don't know, 24 or something right now. It's how many hours I've been attempting this singular fucking boss and losing my mind. It's been a nightmare. Uh, <laughs> if you want to watch those VODs, I think it's taken over. Still? Oh, yeah. I think it's taken over 100 hours of uh, prep for it. Or no, it was 80 hours of actually getting to the boss. And I've been on it for like 25 or something. It fucking sucks. I'll talk about it more uh, next week on the show. Uh, tomorrow, we got the Boomer Squad coming out for Valorant. I finally found four other individuals who are willing to join the hordes of Zoomers out there. It's myself, Gassy Mexican, Strippin', Bruce Green, and Shenanners are jumping into some Valorant five-man stacks. It's going to be a fucking mess. We hope to see you guys there. That'll start around 2 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Eastern, something like that. Should be a good time. Uh, and then just business as usual. I'm sure Fatalis hopefully will die sometime this week. Uh, I'm tired of fighting. We'll see how it goes. That's it. That's all we got.
Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, Barry wanted me to shout out. Might, Go ahead. Might have. I didn't want that to sound like I, I was going to continue, but it was your time. So I, I meant still. And then I was going to continue by saying that fucking thing must be super hard. Oh, I just I oh, yeah. it, like, felt like a dick. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I I uh, I am not in a mood, as it were. So I I can let I, okay. the comment goes through me now. Okay. Good. After eight hours for of now. fighting the boss, I know. I was gonna say for now. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Yesterday, I was supposed to do a stream with Jesse, and he's like, "Hey, man, you ready to do this thing? You ready to watch some Final Fantasy?" And I said, "Jesse, I don't want to stream with you. Let's watch this alone. Have a good day." Oh, <laughs> oh wait, or Co, wait, Co wait. also has a message. What was it? I said, I said, I sent you a message, and and what was it? I was like, "Hey, man, want to play some finals?" And hold on, and now I gotta gotta find what your reply was. But oh, I was like, God. "Oh shit." <laughs> yeah hey man want to play some finals jp nah all lowercase smashing my dick in a sliding door repeatedly aka fighting fatalis and i was like all right you have fun that was it that was the entire exchange it's been a that nightmare. was it it i it fucking after after nine years of knowing jp i'm gonna i'm gonna give you guys the secret it fucking sucks JP. man you ready <clears throat> watch the eyebrows oh the eyebrows really? go up don't back the fuck off. Back oh, off. Okay. <laughs> that, means, that means he is two seconds from getting really real on you. I you don't want that. It's now like, I'm, it's curious, like, now a, I'm like, it's like a rattler shaking his tail at you. He's like, <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. I'm curious. A lot for, for stream, I will say my stream knows if my camera is off and I'm not talking, but gameplay is happening. That's also mm -hmm. like, be very oh. careful. Be very careful. That's when you drop in the channel and be like, has he considered not sucking yet? That's happened a couple <laughs> times. Dude. Has he considered oh being God. better at the game? We need we need to wrap. Yesterday. Why is he dying so much? I'm like, I'm on hour 18 or something like that. The literal, like, probably best player in Monster Hunter World, who's currently doing a no cart run on his way to Fatalis, meaning he cannot die to a monster die. a single the time. A death run. And he's going to do it fucking raids me. <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't want these. Hi, guys. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that good at the game. And you've been watching the best at the game. So, yeah. You're watching it. You know, five, five minutes goes by and the people that came for his channel are like, why are we watching this guy? It really was. Are you having, are you having fun? Because this is this is just kind of depressing. It was a nightmare. Well, YMCA was... pickup game and Jordan brings all of his all yeah. of his fans like, let's watch the this. The fucking monsters from Space Jam show up. Yeah, it was a nightmare. Um, <laughs> DF, <laughs> DF, no, GOTY.com slash results slash 2023 if you want to see the results JP, of the show. JP, I, I do have a list of 20 suggestions I'd like to give you before your next attempt, if you'd be so kind. Yeah, let's, let's talk about it. And them. if we could just go down each one let's, independently. Yeah, we should. I also just got to the channel and don't even know what you've done or if you've done it yet. But <laughs> I think it's probably totally... best. I think you should probably take time out of your stream to talk to me about this. We should totally do that. If one Great, of them is radial, though, I'm going to find a stapler. First, have you tried not sucking? Is that, <laughs> I have tried have that, funny that? enough. That I have yeah. tried that, funny enough. I'm working on it. Can I play myself off the show? Like, can I, can I, just, <laughs> can I just play the song? All right, that's it. Thanks for oh, okay. watching Drop Frames. We'll be back next week. We'll do a 2024 preview, talk about all the stuff we've been playing and whatever else the fuck is going on. Thank you so much. We're out of here. Bye-bye. Here's to year 10, right? <laughs>